Charlie, hey, you excited to be back yeah, on? Yeah, it is pretty small. Yeah, are, you, are you excited to make your- Oh, you shit. You don't look that excited, Yeah, bro. you don't look that excited, bro. You should probably get excited. I should probably take a couple more shots. Guys, you know what Nick yeah, said? No, that, you, that was a Not dream. Me? That was a dream. Wait, Mado, who's it about? Me and every oh. other Korean girl. He said some racist oh, ass shit. Play, play oh, shit. It was a dream. No, it was not a dream. It was not a fucking dream. It was a dream. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was it? it was a dream. She was just having a dream. No, she's, she keeps, she's like one of those people that think like dreams are real. Mm-mm. Cause she, cause she's a tweet. See, Honestly though, he's gaslighting me. I, I, I've been having crazy ass dreams. Sometimes. Right, right, and you sometimes think they're real, right? Yeah, like yeah, I, so I had, I had a dream where like, dude, no, I had a, a weird dream about the guys. Everybody's naked. Dude, I think, I think so. <laughs> it's always something like such a oh weird storyline. Um. And you wake up and you're like, oh my god, I'm glad that shit wasn't real. Do you know you what I'm talking about? I do. It's not a nightmare, but it's like a, it's like a anxiety mare. Guys. Let me just tell you, I want Sahi to be in this too because everybody in this table, everybody in this table needs to realize the most racist one in this group is this guy. That's such because a fucking very lie. debatable. Very debatable. Because you said you said in the last podcast debatable. that Argentina is playing your people. No, that's so, what no. you said last no, you podcast. Did, you no, did you said it. You, you looked did. at me and you said Argentina is playing your people tomorrow. No, and then we were like, no. she said, said Argentina is playing you. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I was like, my team's <laughs> Wales. And you're like, you're. Like, Wait, 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 what? So, so we were like talking. Listen, listen. So we were talking about our teams, and we were like, "Oh, who are you guys going for?" And I was like, "I'm going for Wales." And then Mod is like, "I'm going for Argentina. We're playing you tomorrow." Why did you say you're going for Wales though? What Just as a joke, as a joke. And she said, "She said we're playing you tomorrow." I said, "We're playing you guys." Okay, she said, "We're playing you guys tomorrow." And because I was you like, "Guys are Mexican." Hey, I'm not even Mexican, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is that does that sound is that racist? Because usually yeah. people root for their people for for where they're from. You don't know if I claim my culture. <laughs> You don't know that. You're making assumptions right now. What the? Okay, anyways, let me That's get to crazy. that. That's crazy. Well, a couple of podcasts ago, you were, like, defending that you're not a Nosabo kid. I am a, I am not a Nosabo kid, yes. That is... Anyway. Okay, anyways. Anyways, what, what? let me say. Let me say what I have to say. I was drunk, and he tried gaslighting me and making me think it was a dream. But It was, it was a dream. La- later on, I realized it wasn't a fucking dream because I remember it. It was in the living room, and I, I know exactly what, what he said. So... I don't know why. He was like, let me smell your breath <laughs> or something. <laughs> what? That's oh. wild. <laughs> That's already crazy. What? <laughs> it, is, it wasn't a dream. It was not a dream. For some reason, I was like, okay. And I blew into his mouth. <laughs> and he was like, no. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> Nick, why you gotta say that? Go ahead, go ahead. And what? And what? And what? And what? <laughs> he was like... Wait, this so, is such a dream. This is literally so, a dream it's moment. It's not a dream. It's not a wake dream. Wake up, wake up. And he was wake like, up. yo, yo. And I was like, what? And he was like, <laughs> your breath. <laughs> I'm sorry. Your breath smells so Korean. That's <laughs> not what I said. <laughs> no, no, that's what he said. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck do you mean Korean? He's like, dude, every Korean girl's breath smells like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. And I was like, how do you know? He's like, he was like, you don't think I've kissed Korean woman in my life? Okay, that sounds like a dream because I've never kissed a Korean woman in my life. No, you have. I know you have. So stop lying. Oh. Mm. <laughs> who was it? Who who have I kissed that was Korean, Maru? I think I do know. Who? Ah. Uh, exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. So I guess it wasn't a dream. I guess I guess it really did happen. You know what happened. <laughs> Dude, I would gaslight you so hard in the group chat. I you're believed like, it. You're like, oh my God, it was a dream. <laughs> I did believe it. I was like, okay, maybe it was a dream. Because I was having a lot of dreams that night. In oh, really? Couch. Yeah, every time I sleep on that couch, I have so many dreams. It's because you go to bed like 12 out of 10 lit. And yeah. your brain's probably firing, like literally losing brain cells. And while they're all popping in your head, it's like releasing the dreams. All the brain cells that you lose is probably a new dream. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you might be right, but... Or it's just completely real. You're not really asleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Could also be that. And Nick was right there. Maybe I'm just whispering in your ear while you sleep. And I'm just, I'm just like, now dream about dragons. Or something like that. <laughs> now dream about me saying that you have Korean girl breath. <laughs> that shit it's was real. I know it happened. <laughs> Nick, it's tell me real. the truth. Swear to God. Did, did it happen or not? No! S- swear to God right Dude, now. Dude, I don't swear to God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's really uh, disrespectful. I've definitely okay, heard you swear, say it. I've swear, never said swear to God. Swear on your sister. <laughs> on my sister? On your whole family. I would literally swear. I, I, yeah, I would literally <laughs> swear on my sister that. Send your mom. Sage isn't my best friend. Swear so your mom. Your mom. I can't do that. Why? I just don't swear on my mom. Swear what, on my dad. What do you swear? <laughs> <laughs> okay, then swear on your dad. Okay, I swear on my dad that that was a dream. <laughs> 
You're such a fucking liar. I am being so gaslit right now. Uh, I'm just kidding. Nah, that definitely happened. Okay, exactly. <laughs> I literally sat and told you that to your face. Do you not? You really don't remember? I do, but it was very um fuzzy, fuzzy and misty and mm. dusty. So. Okay, dusty. um, dusty. <laughs> you tell me. You ready? What is it? <laughs> Wait, dusty. before we move on, I'm sorry, <laughs> nigga. Why did you ask me to blow <laughs> in your face though? Because your breath was smelling mad Korean, and I wanted to make sure that it was your can you, breath. You can say that shit. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun ass podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment of Suburb Talks. I'm your host, Nick Rahetta. Joining me tonight, we have Christine Choi. Hello. We have Davino Paul. Yes, sir. We have Maria Lee. Hi. We have Sahe Gian. Hello. And we have a special guest. One How of the you guys OGs. Doing? Sean oh. Sin Williams. Let's go. Round, little round of applause for the, the return of the prince, the I'm, young prince. I'm actually super nervous. I don't even know why. And when he started counting down, I got butterflies oh, really? in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to go to a soccer game or something. <laughs> this shirt, does it not look like he looks like the uh, like a pa- patron son or something like that? Like the that patron son? Sick. It's my dad's. So I took it from his closet. <laughs> I take oh. everything from him. But guys, yeah, if you guys remember like a while back, Sean used to actually be on the podcast a lot and then he got super busy and he wasn't able to come on anymore and I got really sad. But now we have him back for our 100th motherfucking episode. Yeah. Let's go. 100 episodes, man. 100 episodes. So to celebrate, we got some questions. Uh, Christine's actually going to be hosting tonight. Yeah, I, I got my questions from my followers. So thank you to everyone that responded. Um, I'm only going to read like the ones that were asked the most often. Bet. Okay. And then um at the end we'll go ahead and just talk about like some you know some memories that we've all had like best moments together doing this podcast with the fans and stuff like that. Um but we got a little bottle of champagne right here, a little bottle of champagne and we're going to go ahead and open it up and pass this shit around. I don't know. I'm really scared that this is going to pop open. You should let me do it. Don't no. do it. Anything. No. <laughs> Oh god, I really feel like it's gonna pop. Was uh, when you mean one through one hundred, does that mean go all the way back to like? Oh, so I was a part of this, a part of the journey. No, no, no I'm not opening it yet. I'm not opening it yet. Um, no, 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 bro, this is this is literally from the number one pot, like the number one podcast we did was from oh, from your, like in my from your house, the, yeah, yeah. House? Oh, wow. guys, and if you guys are new, um, we used to do the podcast outside of Sean's uh, grandma's house, like outside. Back. Well, yeah. like like outside, like as in like in your grandma's house, but like outside, like outside oh. of here. In a vacant Inside, house. In a vacant house. Um, With guys, one little mic. Gonna, you guys think it's gonna pop? Yeah. Don't so do it on me. Oh, it's gonna pop. No, but do you think it's gonna like spray? Like a, no, 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 okay, no, no, no. Okay, it's well, only if you shake it. Okay, you guys <laughs> tell me which way to go then. Okay, back there, back there. Don't go near your. Don't do it like that. Don't go near okay. It's gonna bounce off the wall. You know what? You know what? Where, do you, where should Wait, we pop it? Wait, Sage, you should pop it. That's crazy. A hundred, a hundred episodes, bro. That's insane. Wow. Camera, no? Can they see it? Can they see it? They can't see it. Push. Push. What do you want? Oh shit! Holy shit! What the fuck, Sage? See, oh, what my it is? oh my god. <laughs> Some kind of warning would have been nice. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty Wait, where'd it go? It's on the floor. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Guys, um, I bought this same exact expensive bottle for Sean's birthday, and we were on a boat, and um, I didn't tell him how much it was, so he shook it and popped it off the boat and spilled three-fourths of it. Yep, and shook it more and just sprayed it everywhere. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't... I don't really drink a lot, and I don't get super that drunk a lot. That is such a fucking lie. That is not a lie. You Very know that. debatable now, Sean, Sean. You realize that anyone that comes around here, everyone already knows they're an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic. So we're drinking fancy tonight. Fancy I kind of want to talk in a British now. accent. La da dee, la da da. La da dee, la da da. I'm feeling like a hundred episodes right now. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, I gotta. I'll be feeling like the man when I walk through. Don't you guys want to talk in a British accent? No. My people. To 100 episodes together. Salud. Salud. Hey, Sean was on the first one, too. Sean was on the very first one, oh, bro. Oh, yeah. All the way back from the beginning. Tastes like shit. Oh. Hey, man. I don't like champagne. I love champagne. <laughs> <laughs> just pour myself up a little bit more. Um, oh, my God. I have a sour. question. Madi, I have a question. Champagnes you, are, a good, right are a good right chaser. Right Ew. Champagnes are a good chaser. Isn't that crazy, dude? A hundred episodes, man, from where you started. A hundred, no, a hundred episodes is literally insane. Cause like we've, I think from the start it's been like what two we years, s- two and a half years. We started back with that little pinky mic in the middle of the table. Middle That's of the insane. table. And look at you and guys. Thirteen now. schmucks around it. That's crazy, 13. bro. That's freaking crazy. It was crazy. It was literally so. Yeah, the OGs were literally me, Says, Devin, and Sean, and then we had um, our best friends Luke, Austin, Owen. Um, Carrie, Luke, yeah, Luke, Austin, Carrie, Owen, and Kyle. Was Kyle there the first night? No. No, I don't think he was. I don't think he was there. Yeah, so four no, and four. Was, was Seth? 
No, it was four and four. It was just that. It was the mm-hmm. eight of us. Now Owen left us. Austin, I haven't seen that guy in years. Oh, no. <laughs> Same. What the fuck? Yeah. But um. anyways, guys, though, yeah. So thanks for being for here for like 100 episodes. And we'll go ahead and start the podcast. And yeah, at the end, you know, just sit back. Maybe you guys pop open a little bit of champagne, too. And then uh, <laughs> we'll talk about like our best Why memories together. It's, it is. It's fa- I feel fancy. All right, Wait, Christine. Yeah, you ready? Okay, so gonna oh. we're going to start like mm. with some easy questions. Wait, what do you want to ask? I was gonna ask, do you say per and period like on the first date or no? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, what? Do you say per and period on the first date? <laughs> oh, God. I say period a lot. Really? Yeah, it's period. a bad habit. Have they ever like said anything? Guys. No, there was this one guy though who would say it with me. He was like, I'd be like, period. And he's like, period. <laughs> did you like that? Did you like that? I did. I was like, that was so cute. Did it, did it, would it get you like giddy? Were you like, ah? I was like, hey. <laughs> no, 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 never mind, never no mind, never mind. Do you guys really think that's a nick though? Okay. If it's overused, it's yeah. If it's used at the wrong times, then I think it could be a little. <laughs> My grandma just died. died bro. Period. What's the, what's the one? Oh, the one like, or not you doing that? that or, like, wait, I'm just like, what? <laughs> Someone like, says if you're that? watching a game like right now, like the game, and I'd be like, oh, let's fucking go touchdown. It's like, okay. period. I'd be like, ah. Or if you're like Argentina scores, and then they're like, not Mexico losing right now. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, bad. Bad. I'd be like that's bad. Or like, or like, or like, or like, not you getting mad about that. Yeah. And I'm like, what? I'm like no, but listen, I love so you, Mario. Uh, but I hear it. I literally hear it every time you say it. Though, like something in my head goes off. Like, yeah. Like I hear a ding in my head. Like boom. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. So you guys get irritated? I know. I don't get irritated because I don't get irritated. But I, I, I like it. Sometimes like a, it's funny though. It's like a okay, flick to the back of my brain. In the wrong situation, sometimes it's actually funny because you're just like, what'd you say? Yeah. yeah. And period. <laughs> period. Period. That was good. That was good use of it. Period. I like that. Period. I'm gonna start doing that. Period. But, wait, Mario, do you say per? Like rarely. Now it, that is that is a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like through um, through text, text usually with yeah. my girlfriends. What does that mean? Per. Period. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it means like yes. Do you yes, use per I period? Think. And yes. slay. And slay. Dude, I'm gonna yeah. start. Yeah. I'm gonna start saying yeah. that. <laughs> Do you say per. slay, Maru? I never say slay. Like I say it like ironically, like oh that was so slay of you. <laughs> Say per? I can't imagine that. I don't that. say per though. Imagine just a random text. Like we're texting. I go, per Sean. Yeah, it's like, let's go to the mall today. Now, per. from now on, in group chats, whenever yeah, somebody says something that, like, instead of emphasizing it, I'm just going to say per. I'm throwing, I'm, the na- I'm, throwing, I'm throwing the nails with it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, but so you ha- you do say it on the first date then, Maru. Per and period? Yeah. Mm. Are you trying to stop? Not per. I say period. Just because it's just. It became a habit for me because of fucking TikTok. Are you trying to stop though, or like, do you even care? Yes, because I saw a bunch of videos of people saying it's an ick, or a lot of men saying. But you know what? Fuck what other people think. I should just. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Not real though. I mean, that guy. I don't know who you're talking about, but if he did that shit like back to you, that's funny. Like, it was. That, that's that, a good that's, save. Yeah, that's a good time. That's like, a good save. I feel like that. Yeah, if he made you uncomfortable, it would have sucked. But right. he did it back, so that's cool. He like did it jokingly back, like okay, period queen, and I was like, yeah, that's funny, that's cool. Yeah. So where's he at now? Fuck him! <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Fuck you! If you're seeing this, fuck you. They're not. They're not always good ones. They're not always good ones. Um, period. If, <laughs> <laughs> um, also, if any of you guys want to refill, just like raise your little hand, and I'll pass the bottle around, okay? If you want. I got my stomach fizzing. You almost done with yours. Um, But anyways, Christine, go ahead and take it away. Okay, so the first question is everyone's go-to breakfast. Everyone kept asking me, what is like, do you prefer waffles or pancakes? And I'm like, we'll just go with the breakfast question. Can I Can I be honest with you? You don't when need I breakfast? Was, uh, no, no, no. When I was first living here, my breakfast was a uh, top ramen, and um, I used to cook a side of toast with that. It's pretty good. It's pretty fire. That sounds pretty good. It was like 9 a.m., though. Yeah, it's a little I eat top ramen all day, every day. <laughs> top ramen? Any ramen. You eat it every day? I could eat it every day. Really? I couldn't. There's no like substance to it. It's just noodles and broth. It's still good though. <laughs> it's still good. It's still yeah, good. I guess it is. It do be good though. I can eat pho almost every day. I like pho. Pho is good every that's day. Pho is fire. Okay, but that's not breakfast. Okay, well, go to now. I'd be cooking like good breakfasts. Like I'd be cooking toast and I put... I crack an egg in the middle of it and I'm baking around it. I put it in the air fryer for 12 minutes and that shit is gas. 12? Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Because you, you, you have to cook the bacon and you have to cook the egg. And then you eat it. It's so good. Put some pepper on it. Tapatio. It's mm. amazing. Okay, that sounds good. Anyone else? 
I don't eat breakfast. I don't like breakfast. You don't even wake up in time for breakfast. Right, you don't have you don't like breakfast. Mm-mm. That's weird. You don't like breakfast foods. Mm-mm. Well, your oh. breakfast is at four a.m. It's Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, like I feel like sometimes that's how it is. Like if you eat it's so if you eat so it's late, but even if I'm really hungry be. in the morning, I'll just eat like a sandwich or something. Really? really? Mm-hmm. So if you wake up early, like I'll eat, I'll eat a sandwich and then I'll, I'll have some cup of noodles with it. So it's nine a.m. and you're hungry. It's gourmet. <laughs> <laughs> it's nine a.m. and you're hungry. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till it's one p.m. Yeah, literally. Then, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't eat any breakfast. Mm, okay, I do eat breakfast, but like at eleven. What do you morning. eat? What's your favorite thing to eat? Um, I don't have a favorite. It's just the most easy to make: avocado toast. Mm. That's just fire though. That yeah. one's good. I don't like avocado. Yeah, I don't think really? I like that either. Heard avocado tastes like cum. With egg and cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it tastes like clean Wait. dicks. Shit, cum oh. makes those. Makes, uh. <laughs> 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 the shit made him. The fuck. shit made him. Cum made. Why can't I say it? Hey, it's cum, a good shit. What are you saying? What are you saying? Cum must taste good then. Wait, what? Can you say it one more time? Cum must taste good then. Okay. Oh. oh. Sometimes. Oh, well, it don't taste bad. It does, sometimes it doesn't taste bad. But most of the time... Taste, just, wait, taste can change. Exactly. Oh, I was talking oh, about avocado, yeah. though. I was talking about avocado. No. See, I feel like, honestly, oh, like, you guys have a lot of experiences. It's like, coming. even from some clips, <laughs> some clips I've heard. <laughs> Which is, like, here, even hearing that, I didn't even know that was real. That it tastes... It can taste I don't different. know if it's real. I can yeah. not tell you, but... I mean, mine... He can. Wait, on the same... I know it tastes <laughs> other people. Like, like, wait, 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 wait. On the same person? Wait, on the same What about like the time of day? Does the time of day matter? Like if it's or is it what they first wake up wakes up? So a lot of it has to do with like you what you eat. Oh okay. That's that's the whole thing with like pineapple juice making your cum taste sweeter is like your your semen is made up of like proteins and stuff. Dude, I heard that wasn't real though. It's also stored in the balls. I heard the pineapple (laughs) is stored in the balls. Okay, well I don't know about that. Honestly, like okay. I don't know that for sure. I'm just explaining like what your semen is made up made up of because I actually. <laughs> <laughs> I love it every time. Every time Christine like is about to say something crazy, she covers her mouth and giggles. I love it. I actually googled it this past weekend. I was like, how much? Ca- how many calories are in sperm? Ooh. And there's you can like there's like 23 calories in sperm, and that comes from like proteins. How many grams of protein is it in it? Oh, I searched that up. How much? How much? I feel like every girl has searched uh, about one point. I don't know exactly. I don't know. It's not a lot though. It's, it's not, not as much as I thought it'd be because so people... it's not good for the gains. Yeah, I can't feel a workout. It's like in the. <laughs> it's like in between like fifteen, I think, and twenty something. That's all. That's a per load. Yeah, per load. Grams of protein. I think that's what it. Per kid. Per <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. I'm trying to think. Of, how do you self? calculate that? Yeah. I don't know why. I always thought that it did have protein. Like, wasn't that like a thing? Like, people would talk about. Well, it's like, it's, kid, it's, it's a kid, so right. it has to have protein in it. You okay. Know? Oh, so the average <laughs> protein concentration of semen is it's really little five thousand and forty milligrams per a hundred milliliters That's or milli milli liters. I think milli. What is ml like that? Milliliters. Yeah. Since one ejaculation usually produces five milliliters of semen. The average amount of ejaculation contains about oh two hundred and fifty two milligrams of protein. Oh okay, I think what's, you say what's wait 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 what's milligrams to grams? Milla is mm, you go back. <laughs> Ten dollars. I think three <laughs> three zeros away. So oh, wow, that's so yeah, it's not that's not a lot at all. Twenty twenty five grams. Like point two five grams. Oh, never mind. It's not worth it then. I think I was contemplating it. Um. Wait, what? so what about what about like time of day though? Does time of day matter like on the taste? Like first wake up. I couldn't uh, tell you. I hate giving head. <laughs> that shit's crazy, man. <laughs> oh. We were talking about breakfast food. So that's oh, how so quick this, it changes. So this is going back to what you eat. It depends on like what you eat. Like Dude, that shit's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> your your semen can sometimes taste like it. Just because especially if you eat like super potent foods, like a lot of onion or garlic like that's when it's gonna start to be bad mountain and dew. like i heard mountain dew is really bad i i heard that that shit really? just kills your spirit oh i heard it ta- i heard it makes it taste bad like battery I don't acid know about, i'm sure it does probably mm. well i don't I'm, i don't know about that gotcha. but yeah your your semen has protein that is made up of what you eat so like your semen is gonna end up tasting like it you know got you how do, how do we get on this topic i was gonna say oh avocado. Avocado. avocado i was like it tastes like mm. it tastes like it does it does it taste like it like dick 
No, 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 no like, 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 like cum. cum. It tastes like clean dick, I'm telling you. Oh, so it doesn't taste like it the, the, taste the like, thing. So it doesn't, it doesn't like taste cum like cum. cum. It doesn't taste like cum. It okay. does taste like clean so dick. Thank you. See, I'm okay then. I don't like, find the need to try like it. It tastes like skin, you know? Like avocado, like... Like the way, yeah. Like if so, if like, I if I lick my hand, will it does it taste like avocado? That's what your dick would fucking. Now I'm hungry. Okay. I want to get some <laughs> snackies. I was gonna say rice and eggs. <laughs> that's, that's what my answer is gonna be. Good answer. That's answer. it. There's nothing exciting about that. No add-ons. It's just rice and eggs. What's up, guys? I just want to take a quick second and shout out our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring this podcast to you guys for free on so many different platforms. Thank you, Air Up, for sponsoring this podcast. Air Up is the first refillable water bottle that adds flavor to water through scent alone. So how exactly does that work? I'll go ahead and show you right now. Air Up offers you these scented pods in these packs that you add to your water bottle to make it a different smell. First, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to open up one of your packs. Right now I have, oh wait, I want that one. Uh, uh. <laughs> right now I have orange vanilla swirl. I have orange jade. And they actually have a bunch of different flavors, guys. They have lime, they have lemon. Um, Apple. Once you open the pack, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up your water bottle. You're gonna get one of your pods out and each pack comes with three of the same flavored pods. Mm, smells pretty good, huh? Yeah. And then go ahead and open it up. And then you see where it has like this, uh, the food on it. You're gonna go ahead and put that on the top of the nozzle and you're gonna push all the way down. Yeah, make sure that it's lined up. And then you're just gonna push down on it. It does indeed line up. <laughs> and then that's basically how you secure it in. And in order to activate it, you're just gonna barely pop it out from here from the, the pod. You're gonna pull the pod up like just a little bit. Once you pop the pod up, that's how you activate it and you can go ahead and enjoy your water. Salud. Cheers, lad. Mm. Every time. Every time. <laughs> how do you like it? It's actually really good. Isn't it weird how it actually tricks your brain into thinking that yeah. it's flavored? It does in fact get the job done. Which flavors are you excited the most about? Um, I would say the apple because I like apples. <laughs> Right on. Right <laughs> on, brother. Thank you, Arab, for sponsoring this episode. Other than that, guys, please enjoy the rest of this podcast. What are you eating? For breakfast. Um, if I'm at home and I have something, which is like not usually, I have, you know what eggs in a frame is? Mm -mm. So it's like a piece of uh, white Isn't bread. Isn't that what Nick was talking about? Eggs Basically, in a frame? It's like it's like the an over easy egg on top. On, of, toast? of toast? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that's what it, called. it was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eggs in a frame. Do you put bacon around it? I thought they're no, called eggs in a basket. I don't know. Wait, I'm going to start calling it. Bro, put bacon me. around it, though. Mm. It tastes gas. I either have that or if I go out, like waffles. Oh, yeah. I'll be eating the protein waffles. Waffles are fire, dude. Protein waffles, waffles are waffles. fire. But you have to drown them in syrup. Yeah, it tastes it so tastes gross. Like cardboard. And they dry your mouth out, bro. It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. Should I fill up another glass? Do you want another glass? Oh, it's dangerous. It's Monday night, right? Yeah, it's Monday night. But every Monday. Okay, my friend. I will partake with you. All right, the next question, which I thought is perfect as we go into the holidays, are gift ideas for like a significant other. Mm. And maybe we can give different price ranges depending on amount of time you've been with them. Five bucks. <laughs> Five bucks. Lego, Lego flower set. <laughs> that is a good, that was That's a very good a really Christmas. Oh, yeah. You just remember that from what she said. No, 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 I, was, no, no, no. I came up with that by myself. Oh, you did. <laughs> yes, I did. I didn't take inspiration from anybody. Are you gonna get it for Christmas? I don't know, but um, you guys tell me what do you what do you, what do girls want for yeah. Christmas? What do guys want for Christmas? Like a like I a feel PS Five. Like I'm actually trying to buy my boyfriend a PS Five, which is why I was Very asking you yet. for money because <coughs> I saw one on sale at Best Buy this you past told weekend. Me. <laughs> <Sit off. laughs> Anyways, um, um, you guys tell me. I feel like with you guys, you guys want something more sentimental, more so than yes, like. Yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. I don't like. Obviously, it's really nice if my boyfriend spends a lot of money on me, like, cause that is money that he has worked for, and like, it's his money, right? Yeah. So I understand that, like, if he just wanted to buy me like a nice dinner, like, that's a lot of money, and that's fine with me. And it's also fine if he wants to spend that money to get me like a nice bag, you know. Gotcha. But like. At the end of the day, I'm gonna like the dinner more than the bag. So, so let's say I'm your boyfriend and you got me a PS5 and I just got you a handwritten note. Would you care? A little lot. bit, yeah. I really? If it, but what if it was like super sentimental and it like made you cry and you're like, that's it? Or like you're gonna be like, oh, thank you so much. I mean, I, I won't. I don't say that I would like expect it, but like, you know, a PS5 is 800 bucks, like with the three-year oh. insurance warranty and uh -huh. shipping taxes, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, and so. If he spends no money at all, I'm obviously going to be upset. But he spent money on the envelope. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Would you but rather, I don't know how to explain this. <laughs> would you rather take an experience or a, an experience? A gift? Ah, so like experience. going on a trip or like going to a very fancy place yeah, over like, like a present? Yeah, or like um for Christmas or my boyfriend are going to Disneyland tomorrow uh, on Wednesday for Ooh. like our six month. You know, it's like super that's fun. like a a thing that we're doing together gotcha. to like make memories. Gotcha. You know, like plan a trip or something gotcha. or like girls also love it when guys take initiative of the whole date. Mm, you know like yes. just text her and be like hey we're going out tonight at seven like dress cute i have heard that have you guys to the girls have you guys ever like take initiative like on a date with your man's like the whole day like have you guys ever done something where your man didn't have to think about anything yeah yeah you have most of the times i had to do that really <laughs> yes you were just like oh let's go do this and first date like, not first date just you're talking about dates in general or you're talking dates about in general date? dates in general yeah so you don't have a problem with it no i ended up did having a problem with it. Where well, you brought it up to him and you're like, why am I always like yeah. taking us out on dates? Yeah, and then he ended up doing this whole date by himself for the whole day after I told him. Oh, like he planned the whole day by himself. Mm -hmm. Got you. Okay, that makes sense. Same with you, Christine? Yeah, I think most girls, like at least once, you know, it's nice to like be surprised with like a date that he's like thought out completely. Because mm -hmm. like in my past experiences i've definitely been the one that's always like planned like hey like when do you want to meet next like i'm always the one that's asking and like sometimes that gets like i it makes me start to think like oh maybe he doesn't want to see me mm. like, like he's not asking you like your schedule with the week you're like yeah. oh i'm free on tuesday are you yeah. free even uh. if it's like my boyfriend you know if he's not asking me to hang out during the week then i'm like does he want space this week like that's what's going on in my head you know that makes sense i've heard that before what if it's just like a planned out like it's the beginning of the week and he's just like hey like, can I just come over on Wednesday and can we just hang out? Are you chill with that? Yeah. Okay. As long as you get a heads up. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Well, got I think you. you're saying like in time, like if you're not doing that at all, like she just said like one experience yeah. where he thinks out the whole day. Yeah. I've gotten that before. Cause I, I feel like I heard you guys talking about, it. you said you hate go with the flow. Like I hate, you hate flow. I think I was actually very go with the flow and it was really bad. <laughs> Cause like, like, oh yeah, we'll go to dinner. And it's like two oh, hours, it's like two hours before and I'm like, oh, I'll call. And she's like, you're calling now? And I'm like, yeah. Do you, like, do girls hate that? Yeah. It is bad. No, I, I understand now. It is really bad because I, I did make a lot of. I mean, we still going to that. dinner though. No. Well, it seems like you didn't really have a plan though. That's yeah. Cool. And it's it's the thought, right? So it's well, it's the thought and then the action that follows that thought. It's one thing to be like, I'm gonna plan this perfect dinner for me and my girl. Like we're Got gonna you. go to a nice restaurant. And it's another thing to act on that thought. Got and you. like, for us girls, Madu, correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. but like, if a guy is gonna come and be like you know two hours before like hey like i i want to go out like for dinner like to a nice place like i'm thinking about making reservations i'm gonna be like fuck off no <laughs> you know like but it's because he asked me like two hours before and i'm like okay why don't you give me like three days or like a week what about like a spontaneous little date though like that's fine like if you're like gotcha. my boyfriend i guess but not every time no got gotcha. you okay 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 what if what if he plans something like in a week and he, or like a week advance it's like sunday and he's like hey we should go get dinner on friday like a nice dinner and you're like yeah i'm down and then like two hours before y'all are supposed to meet up on friday you're like oh where are we going he's like oh shit like can you make a reservation to this oh, place I'd be oh, fucking bad. Bad. Pissed. even though we got plans to already go to dinner no i'd that's be fucking bad. pissed you're gonna get in trouble for that one boy. yeah gotta, wait, 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 they just gotta go online and hit reservation no no for two. no 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 no, no? Mm -mm. Okay. on a friday night on a friday night mm -mm. what if you were guaranteed to like get in the place though it doesn't matter. <laughs> then it's a shitty ass place on a Friday night. <laughs> well, damn. damn. Shitty place. Applebee's huh? is not <laughs> shitty. You take that back. <laughs> that sounded so bad. No, one time I <clears throat> I had actually gone on a date, but I also went prior, before I picked her up, like maybe a couple hours before. And I tried, to put my, I tried to put my name down for reservation. They're like, oh, sorry, we don't have a wait right now, so we can't put your name down. I was like, can you please just do it? Because I know later it's probably going to be a little busy. And I don't want to come and have to wait they're like oh you can't i'm sorry i was like okay i want to go pick her up i came back and i was like oh blah blah, blah stage for two and they're like oh that's gonna be about an hour hour 30 and i was like bro i just came here not too long ago telling you that and like what's going on uh -huh. and they're like oh we can't do anything uh, i looked at her i was like bro i probably look like a dumbass cause probably like oh, this guy probably didn't yeah, even do it you know what i mean so i was like damn like i, I can't be like oh i did though i did like i don't want to be saying that was she upset about it no, nah, she didn't seem too upset, but I could tell that it was like uh, kind of weird because it's our first date. So like we don't oh. we didn't talk. I mean we had to like talk. So I mean it was like uh, yeah yeah yeah. But. So he just had me like schedule a little date for him. 
like I in did. advance. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. He's like, yo, Nick, can you uh go to Korean barbecue? Right, you you live right by like Korean barbecue. <laughs> can you go put my name down? <laughs> yeah, you, can, you can just go on Yelp and uh, uh, go on the wait list. That's for a different. See, place. I did that and I still fucked up. How? Like I was because we were, dude. We went to like go paint and you have to check the wait list. Uh -huh. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> did you go to color me mine i have been there but no we just yeah, went to like a grass field yeah, yeah. and like oh. painted portraits and you don't make reservations to a grass field <laughs> no i'm oh, talking about oh. for korean barbecue that's called oh, a park <laughs> Sean. No, 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 no. so i went to the park and we were painting and i lost track of time because you have to like, keep watching it because yeah. if you want to go at 8 30 you need to make sure you get the reservation for 8 30 and dude i just like forgot and i checked and that shit went up to like 10 and it closed at 11 i was like oh fuck i think i made an excuse like i was like no way like <laughs> Like, they put my name down. No, I swear I did, bro. Like, did she I, believe it? Dude, it was so bad. Did I, she believe it? Ah, uh, no, she never believes anything anymore. She knows I'm fucking. <laughs> but like, we were in the car, and I, she was like, "Oh, can I? Oh, let me like see the reservation." And I was like, "Okay." And I give her the phone. She's like, "Oh, it's at like 9:30, Sean." And I was like, "No, like, are you kidding me?" I was like, "The must have put me down." Yeah. So, she, and she, was, oh, thank God, she was just like, "Oh, it's okay. Like, we can." I think she wanted to get something or something before, and I was I like, "Oh my God!" But like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a bitch when it comes to having to admit like I fucked up. Like yeah, just just nah, for because you want to make it special, you know? Yeah, exactly. And like sometimes you just have one job, and, and that's worse than having like four jobs because you just forget that one thing. And I, I fucked up. Yeah, because yeah. think it's just one simple thing. But yeah. it's not that's that and that's one the problem. Thing. So if you fuck up, it's one simple thing, and you look like a jackass. So like, oh man, I felt I was so scared. I was like, oh fuck, what am I gonna say? Like. I didn't know what to say. I really didn't. I just pulled out some shit. I feel like I've told you something like that. Where I think you dude, have, Dude, you just got to overreact. You're like, no way. Like, did they really do this to me? <laughs> they pushed like, back the time again? Yeah. What? <laughs> like, dude, something really, like, stupid. That's what I They usually yeah. always take my reservation, <laughs> dude. Fuck. Anyways, wait. What were you going to say? I saw a TikTok about something similar to that earlier today where it was, like, this lady's, like, wedding day and her husband had one job and it was to remind the DJ to play their, like, play the song like when she when they kiss and walk down the aisle together oh, and he forgot to tell the dj no. i'm gonna lie that'd be me that's why i cannot be in that <laughs> position so that's like sometimes i'm like men like sometimes you guys say stuff and i'm just like it goes in one ear and out the other for me because i'm like until you guys do something about it like it's not i'm not gonna process or register. do you think it's word dumb or forgetful both Oh, that's super true, though. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. think both? I, I, I be hearing shit, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, and blank. Yeah, yeah. I, be, I be hearing it, though, and I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, damn. I just kind of forget. It's because yeah. you're not, like, actually listening or paying attention. Either that or, like, I just don't want to, like, do it kind of sometimes. Then just say it. <laughs> no, dude, but if you I can't say, it, say I can't say, no, I don't want to do that. Yeah. You give me one thing to do. You get in trouble for like, that. Yeah, yeah, you get in trouble. Way, way more trouble, I feel like. Like, uh, <laughs> like ah, oh, I don't really feel like it, or like I don't want to do that right now. Yeah, I feel like cause if you're brutally honest, it's bad. Like if I if that was me and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna forget. I don't want to do it. Oh, she's gonna they, take it out on you. Yeah, like are you kidding me? Yeah, like, and I'd be like, it's one simple thing. Yeah, exactly. So like, I'm not. I feel like, like I probably have said that before. I'm just like, no, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I do see that. Like it's the same thing with guys. It's just like if you give them one task, like one task. It's not really gonna remember to do it. See, I don't have that trouble with my boyfriend now, though. That's good. What I about in the beginning? Noticed it. Not even in the beginning. Got you. He was always the one that texted me first to like ask me out to dates and stuff, and That's he nice. would be like, Aww. very specific. You know, like Wednesday, let's go to the movies at eight. And he'd be there, be at your house by like seven thirty, seven. Well, we would always meet there. I usually gotcha. never like have guys really pick me up or like meet me at home, especially on the first couple of dates. Like, I don't How want come? them to know where I live. Oh, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I don't be dating, so. No, nah, okay. But if you're yeah. dating strangers, then yeah, I could understand. Yeah. That. Oh, yeah. Especially because of yeah. I date off of dating apps, yeah. so uh, I don't, I don't want people to know where I live, like what, right off the bat, you know. What do you think about that? I feel like you should be like Christina and do that, but you just I, be dropping your location, don't you? Nah, yeah. <laughs> okay, come get my ass. I don't. I just in everything, not even his location. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think twice. I just yeah. Drop the loc. That's it. Yep, yep. I live right here. This is my gate code. Yeah. Wow. It's also like, I don't want, in the beginning of like me seeing somebody, I don't ever want to like, I don't know, this is just my approach, but I don't want them to do everything. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I yeah. don't want them to always pick me up. I don't want them to always pay for dinner. Like, because at, at the beginning, I'm like, I'm getting to know him too. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it want, to me, I need it to be like- Mutual. More, yeah. Gotcha. More mutual and equal. Makes sense. That makes sense. Wow. Yeah. Anytime I hear like a girl like on first day, I'd be like, when I usually take the check, and they're like, they're like, oh, like, are you sure? 
I feel like they're lying. Like, oh, no, they're, you know, they're definitely lying. You, they, you know, know, you know. <laughs> yeah, what, I'm going to pick it up. What do you mean? Are you yeah. sure? I always give them like the, I'm always giving like, them like oh, the. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next time, just be like, oh, really? Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Can I get a dessert, please? I probably order a dessert. It's cheap pan. I might just do that. But <laughs> it does happen though a lot. But like, take for example, let's say you, you or you, Madu, were like, oh, like, are you sure? Like, and you're like, you reach for it. And the guy's like, oh, but yeah, you can pay. I'll pay. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Madu, don't lie to me. Like you're like you're like oh like I know you said it a couple times. Are you sure? You had to have said that. No, I I would have been like oh we can split like but I meant it though. But you never said yo like I can pay. I never say that. Oh no, I have said it. that before actually, y'all. And but not anymore because I used to be doing too much. Like I used to feel bad when people paid for me all this like when men paid for me. For some reason I just felt bad, but I feel like that's how it should be most of the times. Now I know that. Before I thought it should be fifty fifty, and I would pay like fifty fifty. I mean, I have also gone on dates with guys just for them to buy me food. I so, know. like, I've been on both ends of it. Wow, you just for just for free food? Well, yeah, I was a broke college student. So, R- do you ran do out of you meal feel swipes. bad? <laughs> do you feel bad because you don't uh, like you aren't interested in the guy? No, not because of that. I was just always that way. Even in high school, my friends would buy me food. I feel bad. I'd pay them back. Or I would make sure like it would be like fifty. If, she, if they got me, then I would have them next time. Yeah, yeah. type of thing. Yeah. So when I would go on dates, it was like that as well. Can I help you? <laughs> like I always pay for your ass in high school. And okay, never now, I'm, I know I'm always paying for you. Bro, we, used Honestly, to go, we used to go to soccer games. This is like you got eight bucks for gas. <laughs> I was like, what? Eight bucks? No, this man Nick used to fiend for money <laughs> all the motherfucking time. I will pay for his food. He would never pay for your food. <laughs> I was literally driving my mom's broke down minivan, <laughs> and you guys and you guys act Rosita? like I, you guys yeah Rosita you guys act like I wasn't fiending for cash. I was literally in high school. You probably weren't even paying for gas. <laughs> 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 nah, this man he had like hella twenty dollar bills in his fat ass. He'd yeah, scam. Scam. He was scam. <laughs> he was, no, he was no, no, no. I didn't pay. I didn't, I didn't even have money. My mom gave me a fucking card to like get. <laughs> To like just like get food and go home like and this dude would be like oh and now nah, we went to chick-fil-a with kyle and then he was like uh, kyle's like, he's like can you pay for me and kyle's like yeah like how much is it and nick's like oh like 20 bucks that shit was like nine dollars and this man would pocket that money i've never seen something so bad about like i honestly felt i was like oh my god this is so bad like I, uh. he said no nah, that's crazy nick that is crazy oh, how many times you scam kyle I Dude. scammed all of them nah. so many times, nah, 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 bro. Nah, he nah, caught nah, on. He was nah, the first nah, to catch nah, on. Yeah, nah, because that shit was hey, wild. Where's that money going, bro? It was <laughs> so bad, you guys. Like, and then Luke and Nick would always fight about, like, oh no, you owe me, you owe me. And like, I would never really want to eat with them because whenever it was three of us, they would just be arguing about who needs to pay. And I was like, because Luke would try scamming me, and yeah. I was not about to let him scam me. Everyone was trying to scam. Me. I mean, nah, but you were those dudes. Be like, hey, let me get one. Like, this dude would have no you money. Got a dollar? How's that kid? You got a dollar? Can I just borrow real quick? You were uh, dubious with it. Dubious. dubious. What does that mean? Yes. Devious. Devious. No <laughs> way. <laughs> devious. Sorry. The f- dubious. I'm an immigrant. Dubious. Okay. <laughs> you- oh, you are an immigrant. Yeah, she is an immigrant. Ah, right, you get the pass. <laughs> um, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> like, okay, group leader. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Let me hear. Let me hear some of the best gifts you guys have gotten then for the guys and the girls. Best gifts you ever gotten from a, from a, a significant other. Mine is i'm gonna drink some more champagne while i drown my sorrows for never having a significant other (laughs) this was like a a random gift that he got me it was like um he had just come back from a road trip that he was on and i told him that my favorite things were like you know when you go to like amusement parks and they have those machines where you can like press pennies Mm -hmm. oh yeah Yeah. i love those i yeah it's like one of my favorite things i told him about it before he went on the trip and at every (laughs) <laughs> at every national park that he like stopped at that had one he like made them for me oh that's so cute i cr- i like cried like a baby when he gave him and they were pennies you know like it wasn't anything that was like super expensive <laughs> nah, dope, but though. it was like so thoughtful yeah. and like for him to be like oh christine would like this like while he's on his own trip with like his guy friends you know like having dude time yeah and, like, and he's, he thinking, was, he's thinking about you exactly that's what i was thinking about when i that's cute that's so that's thing. super sentimental yeah got you and it only cost him like what four or five pennies yeah maybe wow. like five bucks because you got to put like a dollar and quarters too wow. oh that's for a penny really good. yeah yeah take like out it is a disneyland you know the little penny you get 
We gotta oh. pay like a dollar. You ever been to an aquarium and you get the little? Yeah, little I, I have. I yeah. never knew those were pennies though. I thought it was that's else. really good. See, that's the shit I'm trying to do. I'm trying to remind myself, like, oh, this is a good time to get this. Like, we went to to go to that makeup place, one of the makeup places. Sephora? Yeah, there. I call I call Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> Sephora. Pandora. And she was just like touching shit, and I was pulling my iPhone, just taking pictures. <laughs> Like, no, no, w that's man. Good. No, that's but good. like, the, even the even the thing is, like, she has to like, like, let me know, like, hey, there's some good stuff in here. I'm like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> my dog. and like, she's she's all looking behind you, like, looking behind her while she's touching yeah, her she's stuff, like, 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 like <laughs> wrong one, wrong one. I have, I have to do because, like, uh, I wish I was smart like that, and like, I had just that, that knack. I don't know, yeah, like that natural thing for like gift giving, because I feel like she has, I feel like most girls have that. And I'm just not the best at that because I, I don't ask for gifts and I'm not good at giving gifts like mm -hmm. yeah. generally. So like I'd love to be like that. What's the best thing, best thing she's ever gotten you? Um, dude, she's got me so much good shit, dude. Like it's like Christmas every time she gets me a present. I swear to God, she's just good at that. Like she thrifts clothes for me. She's like that's cute. She's good at hearing shit that I don't even remember. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. I didn't want this. Like you wow. know, or like she got me like a picture frame that plays like all of our memories together. Aww. And I put it in front of my like monitor where Aww. I put like my PS5 and stuff. And like mm. that's like so like. You know, you watch and you're like, oh, sure, I remember yeah. that. Like, just little stuff like that. Like, I wish I was good at that. <laughs> Nick's just drowning his yeah. sorrow. <laughs> I, I feel you on that, Sean. Yeah, because I'm just not that, like, I <sighs> wish, like, I feel like I'm, I do something and I'm thinking, like, oh, dude, I'm, like, the man right now. It's the most basic thing, probably. Yeah. Ever, like, but, yeah. an easy way to, I think, help that would be, like, just randomly getting her flowers, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's, like, the easiest way, I think, for a guy that's, like, how do I make my girl feel more special with something is, like, flowers they're yeah. like five dollars at trader joe's yeah. you know yeah or like a little plant i don't know they have like really cute pots and stuff yeah. what about what about this side best gifts you guys have ever gotten from your significant other best gifts you ever I've gotten ever gotten gotten oh. like gotten from them from them from them from um, them give me a shot <laughs> is it monday night now i don't know i think relationships that i've been in haven't have been in like it hasn't been in a long time so it's like back then. So I mean, we didn't really have money. What about best experience? I think it, the best thing that they probably ever got was probably just like a little like top in the back seat yeah. of the car. <laughs> no. oh. She had like a little like picture of her like from when she was like a first grade, like her little like memory kind of thing. Uh -huh. And she gave it to me, and she gave me that with like a like a little Steelers teddy bear uh -huh. for like I don't forgot what it was for. I think it was Valentine's Day, and I like I, I kept that. I think I think I still have it. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. That's cute. I like yeah. that. I probably shouldn't still have it, but I still just don't let any <laughs> new girlfriend find it. Just keep oh, it. Oh, you still have it. Hide it next to New York it. Rock. Be good. <laughs> what about you guys? Devin, you go first. Um, best gift I've gotten. Uh huh. <clears throat> I like when my girlfriend like gifts good to my family more than me. Oh, gifts mm. to your family? So That's I'm, freaking I'm tough. Of those. So, um, for one, like me and my dad are huge Colts fans, and like I swear to God, you meet my family. That's like the first thing you'll know about like my dad. So I think last Christmas or her birth or his birthday, um, I didn't even know what she was gonna get my dad. Like she, I, she told me ideas. I was like, you can get him this, this, whatever. Oh. This She pulled up with like, she got on like a Colts mug, like <laughs> totally just decked him out in Colts gear. My dad was like the happiest man ever. And I was like, that, that's a good girlfriend right there. You know, yeah, for me personally, I would say the best gift that I've gotten would, so like I'm a huge music lover and like, I want to say this is like post Mac Miller death. So like, um, she always knew I was like a huge fan of him. And like, I didn't even ask for it. I just, I told her, I was like, you know what? Like, I think I'm gonna like get a, like a, a vinyl soon or whatever they're called. And like, I want to get like a music record. And like, it's like, just start like decking out my room. Yeah. And like, this is like two weeks before my birthday. So there's like no way there's enough time to get this shit. And like, it wasn't even her asking about it. I just brought it up like out of randomly. I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna redo my room. Mm -hmm. And then like two weeks later, I don't even expect it. Like. She gets me like a fucking J. Cole vinyl Mac Miller, which I was like, damn, I really wanted this. You know, like, I didn't like, okay. really like she just kind of like listened. That's tough. Like, that's, that's tough. She, like, that's what I realized after. Man. Like I was just looking at it. I was like, oh my God, she listened to me. And I didn't even ask for it. I just brought it up, you know? That's so yeah. I was like, I get what you guys mean when you say like, listen, listen to us, you know? You know what's the worst when you go after them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's shit's ass. Keep going with your saying. Sorry. I, but I also do like giving gifts more. Got you. So I always go big on gifts. Got you. Yeah. I'm doing? the same way, Devin. But you wait, you said it's the worst when you gotta go after them? Yeah, because even my mom will be like, Oh my god, like you didn't get shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like did she just like like that's insane. she got stuff she gets stuff from my dog. Like dog, dad, 
mom, sister, my grandma, abuelita, and like, and then she gets like a basketball <laughs> shit for me, and like my mom, my mom <laughs> literally hit me with that look, like, like literally, like she'll like as <laughs> soon as as soon as she walks out the door, like you hear my mom's door open, and she's like. You better not fuck this up when her birthday comes up. Like, <laughs> so start writing shit down now. Like my sister would literally like even like the second year we were dating, my sister would be like, "All right, like it's two months before Christmas, two months before her birthday. Like this is when you start. So don't fuck up." Like and she'll like even like help me like, "Hey, this is cute. This is cute." It's just like she just gets me so much shit and she's mm. so good with that stuff. And uh, I'm just like, nah, Lowe's last birthday was the first time I went like like I did something different for once. Uh-huh. What'd so you do? Before I used to always get her like nice shoes or like something like just load like what Taylor does with you, just load mm-hmm. of like items. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, so like it was kind of like how like she listened to me. Like mm-hmm. I kind of like took it too because we went to Coachella, we saw Harry, but we left her set early. Mm-hmm. We left the set early and like after that whole weekend passed, she was like, damn, I really wish I saw this one song, like, Sign of the Times. And I was like, that's one of my favorite songs. Okay, you know what? Maybe if Harry Styles in concert, I can get her tickets. Uh-huh. So then, um, like time passed and he like he came out with that new tour that he's currently on mm-hmm. and her birthday was coming up it's like start of summer and i was like how fucking cool would it be if i got tickets because she said she wanted to see this yeah. one song i didn't yeah. know if he's gonna fucking play this song <laughs> i'm just gonna get her tickets and take the risk so uh and like i've never seen her cry to a present i get her she's always super happy uh-huh. but i bought the tickets i told my mom and my sister i was like this shit cost a bag, yo, but yeah. it better be fucking worth it. <laughs> so You were like, I hope she cries. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, this reaction better be goddamn good. So um, so like day of her birthday and she opens a present and like so I had had to print it out where it's a paper, yeah, like in the card. You know, like you got tickets to go here, mm-hmm. welcome, you're going here. So mm-hmm. she opened it, started she started bawling her eyes out. Oh, and, that's like, that's sick. And I was like, Oh my fucking god, like <laughs> I won! I won. <laughs> Mama look at me! <laughs> That's tough. And then That's my dad's tough. in the background. Like, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dad, you're in the moment. <laughs> That's dope. That's, That's cute. I like yeah, that one. So like, kind of that whole listening thing that you brought up earlier. Like, that's when I learned. Like, damn. Like, listen, listen to your partners. Yeah. You know? have, have Have you ever outdone her? <laughs> I think this actually this last her last birthday I out did her because same thing I was saving up a lot of money because uh-huh. like I was just trying to get her everything that like she would like and. I think I, I think I, she didn't expect me to get certain things, which was like outdid it. Because I went like, I don't know, we parked somewhere and I like went one, one present by one present by one present, like getting better. And I was like, yeah, I'm doing this right. I think <laughs> uh, I just felt good for once because most of the time I'm just like, God damn it. Like I should, every time before I'd be like, I'm going first. Like let me go first. So I think that time was really good. I think the, also the cards you write, I think are very yeah. meaningful. Like, I mean, my kindergarten has handwriting, but like, I think the cards like that are like really meaningful yeah. and stuff. Like most definitely. Because I'm not very good at my words, so it's easier for me to write shit down. Yeah, so. I emphasize that big, like with myself too. I always write like a, I like a little like note whenever it's like a special occasion mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, yeah. that's tough. It can't be in the car. It's got to be on a separate paper folded in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maria, best present you ever got? I can't think of anything. I was Damn. trying this this whole time while you guys were talking. <laughs> I really can't think of anything. Experience. And experience. It's- what about experience? Like I said, period. <laughs> that was the craziest thing. That was the craziest thing, though. <laughs> the bar is down Damn. here. I'm kidding. Um, um, experience. Like, experience as in, like, You never that. got a gift? I did get gifts. But it was never nothing that I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the most, like, I guess the best gift I ever gotten from a significant other was, like, a necklace. But the thing is, though, like, the thing is, though, I don't think it was that special because he was, like, dude, I don't know what to get you. Like, here, like, look through this. Oh. Yeah, he was like, look through this Gucci store with me and, like, see it, anything you like, point it out. <laughs> Gucci, wait, hold on. Yeah, you should wait. leave with that next time. Yeah, yeah. That's a great fucking gift. I'm about to have some fun was, scrolling through that. It was a Gucci. <laughs> and then hey, stage, stage, stage. <laughs> <laughs> Or, like, he, like, asked me to pick from the jewelry section. So it's not then, exciting. It's not exciting, you know, because like I already kind of knew what was coming. You know what I mean? I you don't. So, excited, you don't though. think that he asked you that because he wanted to buy you like what you wanted? You know, it's like it is Gucci, so it's a lot of money. Yeah, and you don't want to get the wrong thing, you know? Exactly. Yeah. No, but you know the thing is, I don't. I didn't even really want like you didn't want jewelry, expensive shit. Like you still I, have it. You still it have was it. more like I don't know. I say just okay, can I, I have I it? I have a question for you. Would I you rather? Would you rather have him? Like have you scroll through Gucci like stuff and pick whatever you wanted, or him giving you four free hug coupons that he made himself? No, no, that's not the bar. No, 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 no
Okay, dude. Which would you prefer, <laughs> though? Which would you prefer, though? Like him? And they were really nice. They were really cute. And it was like, for, here's two free hug coupons and two free kisses. And and one free cuddle session for 15 minutes where you're a little spoon. That is kind of cool, though. What the it's like a little, it's like a little, like, coupon. That is not fucking you're, you're like, cool. No, I'll take the Gucci. I'll take the Gucci. You're taking the Gucci? No, no, no. You're taking the Gucci or coupon? The only reason why I say it's cool is because it's... Wait, let me say something. It's, it's exactly. funny. It's that, funny, no, though. Listen, it's, that's no, an no. That's an add-on. Listen, listen. No, 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 let me just... No. That is such no, a bad... Because, no. <laughs> like... Because, like... <laughs> that's the bare minimum in, try, in, like, being trying to be sentimental. What? But that's, like, what? Like, a coupon... Like, a free hug coupon? <laughs> which, like, you, which, are you, which are you taking? The Gucci or the, the coupon? The Gucci. Because if you want to wow. be sentimental... Not gonna lie. I'm not saying... You sound super self-centered right now. <laughs> no, no, and I mad don't. Materialistic. You don't. You don't. Thank you. Don't, thank you. you, don't, thank you, you hear me Material out. Girl. It's like, when I'm talking about, like, a sentimental <laughs> gift, I'm talking about, like, you, like, put, like, time and effort and, like, actually... Tr- try what if i put know, happy face stickers on the coupons so no. if he just got you that in general without asking you you think it would have been different or no the necklace yeah yes if if he just instead of asking me oh which ones do you like and he just kind of did it himself so much better so you would have said it would be the necklace that he got me if he didn't do that as the best gift if he just got you a necklace from gucci yes would that, have that been would better be, than him be being gift. like yo which necklace do you want from gucci yeah of course i feel like okay. guys instead of doing like what madu's ex did you should go Stay. about the question like by asking it to her friends maybe or like uh, saying like oh what do you think like her jewelry style is or even just i don't know open your fucking eyes and look at your girlfriend like if she's wearing girl if she's wearing jewelry what mm. does she wear like is she wearing a chain? Is she wearing something that like dangles off of it? Is she mm. like wearing any rings, earrings? Like, I the amount of videos I see sometimes where like it's those qu- like questions where like they're asking couples on the street like what color is your girlfriend's eyes and the guy has no idea. <laughs> oh, that's rough, dude. I'm I'm waiting for that shit because I will ace that fucking test. <laughs> like, are you not <laughs> staring at your significant other's face, Purple. body, like all the time, like or? Or instead, you give her the phone and say, oh, which one do you like for my sister? And then she says, oh, I really like this one. And then you get it for you. No, that's, that's kind of smart. Because like, so I wouldn't but... realize what you're doing. I think I'd get caught. No, I wouldn't get I would, caught. I think, Maybe... it, I think it's easy to catch someone. <laughs> well, which one do you like? That I'll get whatever one that you like for my sister. Oh, I really like this one. Actually, yeah. I might catch on. Never yeah, no, but, yeah. No, but yeah, if, she, no. if she talks about something and then you're like, you want to get that something for your sister, she's going to obviously know. Nah. No, no, no. She's going to... If she if if you ask her that question too, she might answer it like actually thinking about what your sister likes. Ah, well, it's her fault. Because that's what I would do. I'd be like, oh, your sister always wears this and this. Like, maybe Got this you. is a good. And then I'd be like, but which one do you like? <laughs> then that'd be too obvious. Yeah, Nick, at no that way. point. I'd be it's able to play like, it off. If you ask me, oh, which one should I get for Cynthia? I'm gonna say obviously something Cynthia would like. Yeah. And then I'd, I'd be, be like, oh, 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 what was your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> dude that's like i would know no. that's like that's like when like your guy friend like he like tells you oh like i like somebody and then you know where i'm going with this yeah and then it's actually you and, it's like, and, like, and, like, and he's like and he's like and then you like who and you're like oh <laughs> you, you know her you know her like that, that is bro. crazy that shit is so good i think i did that like at least four times that's you have i think i've done that at least hey, four tell times tell us about it i want to nah i don't want to know where you say like, oh, I have a crush on somebody, and then it's the girl that you're talking to. That's oh, embarrassing. I've done that. That's <laughs> embarrassing. Right? That's like some sixth grade. That was like my go-to. Like, but I did. Actually, I, no, I was like ninth grade though. It was still ninth grade. But bro, I was. I, mad I feel like a little like grade. sneaky dude, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like sneaky. Oh, yeah. Her name starts with the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're guessing. No. No. I've done that. What? I've done that. Her name starts with the the letter of her first name. Yeah, I, no I more hints. No more hints. Did you ever hit them with the O? Oh, you know her very well. Like <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely have. One time, I actually got caught when it was like somebody else, but it was like Bro. I played it off and like. Bro, yeah. I that's happened to me. Where like I texted the girl and I was like, "Oh, do you have a crush on anybody?" And she, I thought okay. I was asking for my homie. Yeah. And she was like, "Oh, his name starts with an N," and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, Nathan? And then she's like, no, it has four letters in it. I'm like, I'm like, Nate? I said, Nate? She's like, no, it ends with a C. I'm like, oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, my, that sucks my, ass. Oh, no, my name ends with a K. <laughs> <laughs> no, it Nick. doesn't answer the S. Nick, <laughs> dumbass. What the fuck? Yo, wait, I'm going to bring it back around. Bro, you had something to say earlier. Didn't you? You had something to say like way earlier. Definitely lost it by now. It's gone? 
Yeah. I don't okay. Remember. I don't even remember that. Huh? We were like at an hour. I gotta go to the bathroom. Go, go, go to the bathroom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask a question real quick. Yeah. Well, actually, we'll take quick intermission. So whoever needs to use the restroom, go use the restroom. I last night I pushed Luke. Uh, like he slapped me in my face. So like I was just like, like you want to do this right now? Like, but he's drunk. So he's like, we'll do it right now. And like he kind of like went like this, and I just kind of like I caught his arm. And I just like fucking around. I was like, Ugh. like then I pushed him back you into the couch. Him Yagi like, punched him, bro. I didn't have that much. I had to like literally like shove him. Yeah. And he just, I thought he was falling back in the couch. He fell straight into that crack and the couch just split open. <laughs> and he just went like, boom, like that. And he just like, yeah. He's like, I'm going to fuck you up like that. And I was, I literally walked away. And Kyle's like, damn, you look like a bitch right now. Like something like that. So he got up and he was looking for me too. Like all drunk. He's like. Like looking around and I was like, oh my God, please. So I went up to him when he was with Ashley and he's like, I will fuck you up right now. But he's like, I'm fucking drunk. And I ended up leaving. And oh, I didn't show you. You got to show up, bro. Wait, what? Sean, what what was this? This was like two nights or last night. At Maxi's? At Maxi's? Yeah, two nights ago. So we're talking about Luke right now? This is, yeah. I'm sorry to expose you, Luke. But this is this is the voicemail he sent me as I left the party. And I, and I played this shit on my speaker in my car. <laughs> Why did he cry? Wait, can you replay the first part? <laughs> <laughs> you better with me. No, dude, he sent me another video in the bathroom. He's like, I know you're here, and I'm going to look for you, and I'm going to find you. And I, he just, and it's funny is because I think people just remember things they do. And he snapped me in the morning like, oh, crazy FIFA pack. Like, check this out. And I was like, I don't know if you remember what happened last night. Hopefully you don't, because I don't want to fucking get my ass He sent kicked. me a video in the bathroom, and I tell you, he's like, I'm, he's like, talking to me. He's like, I'm so <laughs> fucked up right now. Oh, my God. And he did like, email. Yeah. <laughs> Murder on his mind, bro. It's like, I got home, too. <laughs> well, that is such a funny-ass voice, my mom, bro. Luke was so fucked up that night. Dude, he was so From fucking From the beginning. Slush. Everybody was pretty fucked up that night. I was... Just, oh, yeah. You were pretty fucked up. It was video, the champagne, There's bro. a video on my phone of you pouring me a shot when I was on one knee. I don't remember doing that. Back to what we were talking about with presents and stuff like that. Okay, so we were talking about how, like, sometimes, like, uh, the girls be outdoing, like, you guys and stuff like that. Do you guys ever care about that? Like, when they, like, absolutely go crazy and then you don't get them something, like, that amazing and then do you ever feel like bad for like the next week or two like because you didn't get them something so amazing oh fuck yeah i didn't i didn't i didn't have like are you a, ever like are you ever like damn like why did she need to get me this you know what i mean oh yeah i'll straight up tell her like yo can you chill out like <laughs> really? yeah but she's just like she'll like be like oh i started getting you that shit like two months ago uh, and i'm like oh fuck okay well and just like i didn't have like a i wasn't getting a lot of money because i didn't work a lot mm -hmm. So I was just like, okay, like I'm just letting do you, you know. Do you ever like, like wish that it was just like not so intense or like so much stuff? I definitely did did for like a little bit, but like I mean that's part of a relationship. She feels like I don't think she obviously I don't think girls just try to outdo you. Like she genuinely like loves giving me stuff like that, mm -hmm. and like yeah. I genuinely love getting her stuff that like she'll really enjoy. Mm -hmm. But obviously you're gonna feel bad sometimes, but they're just like you get so much shit that you've been asking for, you didn't even realize you're asking yeah. for, and you're like, damn, like I don't think I did that good. Like I think I think it's less like like me comparing to what my girlfriend gets me but it's more like like basically if i know i could do better i'll be like disappointed in the gift i give you know what i mean gotcha. but like if i realize like yo i should be getting this or gotcha. i should get this if too. it took you like a couple months to figure out the gift then you're like, like okay. not even a couple months just like like if i had thought into it i'm like okay this is like a good gift mm -hmm. if i know it's a good gift i'll be okay but like if i like underdo what i like what i could potentially get then I'll be like, ah, it's kind of let down. God damn. God damn, <laughs> bro. There was no reason to do that. <laughs> oh, she didn't even put this on. I'm done. I was supposed to say I forgot though. What, what, what about you, Sage? You ever been like, felt I'm bad? Pretty, I'm pretty good with gifts. I think I, I might overdo it sometimes. Just because like, when I... I'll use this for an example. Like, when they'll either be like, I think I fucked up. Even though I really didn't, I kind of play into things like too much where I like get in my head a little bit where I'm like, oh man, I might have fucked up. So I'm gonna go get her this, like just to like make it up, like go give her a little, like, you know what I mean? A little talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But <clears throat> I don't think I, I, um, behind on that. No, I mean, and then Christina Mata, you're not really, you guys have never been like, damn, like this is such an amazing gift. Like, goddamn, I've been outdone. Never. Never. <laughs> damn. damn. Must be a good feeling. Not yet, at least. You got know. you, got you. Okay, that makes sense. All right, you can go ahead and ask the next couple questions. Okay. They're kind of intense, guys. Wait, before we move on, can I s oh, talk about this TikTok I saw? Yeah. It was a guy, and he was like, oh, I never I never had one of my guy friends give his girl 
flowers just to give her flowers because he loves her is usually when he does something wrong. Bad. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, 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 I have gotten that yeah. before. And it's not. What? Like, I, I just get flowers if I, I like, mess messed up. up like or something like that. I don't get them just because. Just because? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, and, like, okay. I, that's yeah, that's not good. Because yeah. you get reminded of that. You guys ever think that, like, if I get you flowers, though, when, like, just whenever is it my, like, oh, how do you say it? Like, it might not be as sentimental anymore. You know what I mean? Like, if I get you flowers every other week, aren't you going to be, like, no desensitized to when I get you flowers? I don't think so. I think I would be, like, oh, every single time. Well, when, what if it's yeah. not what if what if it becomes yeah, not then, every single time yeah and then what if, so let's say i get you flowers like every other week and then eventually like i get it once a month and then once every other month no then, i'm sorry but you gotta start out at the pace that you start out at yeah. started out at so no no yes. you gotta keep Which going at you the got, pace you, you started you out at. Stay yeah. at that. you either gotta stay mm. at that pace or go faster you can never slow down like yes what christine said because i think the girl will notice the girl will mm. notice like when she's looking at you and like mm. thinking like oh like Nick is a person that I want to date. Mm. She already has a certain set of expectations that you at that point are meeting. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, because it's the beginning of the relationship, you're going all out. This is actually perfect because it kind of leads into like one of the other questions. Mm -hmm. But um, she's going to notice exactly when you start to slow down and she's yeah. going to be like, why did he Why did he do that? Like, she's going to start to overthink it. Even if it was something that you're just like, oh, I'm going to save a little bit of money. <laughs> like, yeah. tell her that before you slow down, you know, like, yeah. mm -hmm. Don't just do it without saying anything. Do you guys ever think that if a guy pulled up on you with flowers, out of nowhere, you might be like, did you do something wrong? Just because my boyfriend isn't <laughs> really the type of person that like- Just gets you flowers, just right? Just gets me flowers, maybe. <laughs> okay. I can't lie that it won't pass through my mind. Maru, if a, if your man just pulls up on you with flowers, are you gonna be like- Like out oh, of the fucking blue and he never does? Be like, are you gonna be like, are you gonna be like, oh, thank you? Or are you gonna be like, oh, thank you? What'd you do? I think I'm gonna be like, oh, thank you. And then like later I'm gonna think about it because of that goddamn TikTok. Damn. Now it's like in my head, and great. Oh, my trust it, issues. If I got flowers and they're like, why'd so you get bad. me this? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Dude. Makes me want to never get you flowers again, you know? <laughs> what I'm saying? So and, and, so I mean, that's, yeah, definitely. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like, once you get start getting her flowers, you gotta keep getting her flowers. Like, and, and then if you don't, she's gonna be like, why the fuck isn't he getting me flowers anymore? Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? But I also heard one more thing, and then you can go, Christine. Um, I heard it's the same thing with like first dates though. I heard if you go crazy on a first date, she's expecting that to be the standard. No, I don't agree with that. Hmm. Just do different types of dates. I don't know. How okay. crazy, yeah. are you? what is crazy on the first date? Like I pick you up at 5 p.m. and I have like a whole day planned. Like, you know, we go to the zoo, then we go to dinner, then we go to see the lights and stuff like that. No, I disagree with that because I feel like dates can be chill and like not, having two people try too hard and these can also be like that like expensive and like the whole day it's it's good having a mixture of both switch it up switch it up got you it's okay switching it up you don't always have to do top tier dates yeah y'all yeah. ever y'all ever gotten your girl flowers just 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 because just because you're in the store i have yeah yeah uh yes i think i have you say it like that, after you got talked to after you got talked to before you got talked to uh it's always honestly yeah it's i'm, I'm, I'm ashamed i'm ashamed of myself for this one i do be getting like flowers like after the fact i'm not gonna lie like one time i got flowers and i just like she's talking about it like oh like you know it'd be nice to, like be appreciated just we had like i think we had an argument or something and i got flowers and i just like dropped them off on her front door thinking i'm like oh this is like oh, this, this is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, like she steps she, out and I'll just <laughs> 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 no i was like i hope no one just like comes outside and just like yeah. what the fuck is this doing here and then i literally had text her i was like oh you should just check outside or something like that and she's like and she got him she's like oh my god this is so cute like why'd you go home like <laughs> oh, <yeah." laughs> and she's like don't you have work like i want to see you and i was like god damn it i'm just like it's like this I can't is win. yeah i just like this is the I, but, no, but it's good that you did that though because if you didn't then you wouldn't be making like an effort to do it nah, but i'm not gonna lie most of the time I, it is i'm i'm ashamed of this and it's not good i do have to be told sometimes most of the time which is not good i wish i could just <laughs> do it myself it's but step it over eggshells right now <laughs> nah, 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 i think nah. he's admitting it though i, I, no, no, I, I, I don't want to lie I, because i'm not i don't want to be a liar because i'm not the best at that stuff and i think like i do need to improve on that even I don't know, like four years later, probably <laughs> I have to do better with that stuff because she usually has to tell me. You're like, she's just very I, patient. You're, you're yeah, not lucky. but that's you know, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not really that good because sometimes I'm too patient with myself and I don't do things. But like, yeah, it's it's not very good to just realize you need to do something because something's been said or like you feel yeah. bad. Yeah. You got told. God damn, I need to go get flowers right now. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> don't post this part. Of, don't post. Don't post this part of the video because I'm gonna go get flowers. And when she sees this video, it's gonna post she, my she, she, Hey, Sean, can I be honest? I was thinking the same thing right now. Fuck, dude, I'm gonna go get flowers after this. <laughs> I don't want flowers tomorrow. She's like, why? I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, dude, I, damn it. I'm gonna actually go get some. Wait, I think it's so cute that you guys are even thinking of getting her flowers. And always right carry cash because those motherfuckers on the side of the freeway be having some you. good ass flowers. Yes, yeah. yeah. I always support them. I'm just like, oh, I don't uh, have. Uh, do you guys take cards? Like, I, I never have cash. I, I, I have a question for the ladies. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys ever be getting your man's like presence or anything like that after you guys get into an argument and it's like your fault? Never. <laughs> I feel what was the last time you ever got a man flowers? Never. I know you never got a man never. flowers. No way you got a man flowers. Never. Christine. Um, I don't buy my boyfriend flowers, but I always like. You know, on my way home from work at the coffee shop, I always bring him lunch and a drink or like. That's tough. But I'm, but I what about what Starbucks. about like after an argument where like it, you were actually in the wrong? Have you ever gotten anything to make up for that? I suck his dick. You what? I suck his dick. <laughs> Ain't no way. And that would probably make all his problems go away. I'm yeah. What? I think said, that's the best present you could ever said, like. We <laughs> said, "What do you get your man when you like fuck up?" She's like, "I suck his dick." <laughs> <laughs> Might be better than flowers. <laughs> if I'm honest. Might be damn better than flowers. Yeah, that <laughs> no, that shit. So you would rather get get head than than flowers? What if what if he stops you? What if he stops you? What if, yes. what, if, no, what if he stops you and he's like, "Where are my flowers?" She, what if he's like, "I would like like some like <laughs> some PS5 points <laughs> like, or something," and he stops you? Would you? feel like uncomfortable you're like no. are you kidding me? no <laughs> he's he's like, like, i just want people points we don't have, we don't have to do this every time yeah. i'm gonna tell you this now <laughs> if that is i'm gonna tell you this now if that is the answer to every time i get into an <laughs> argument i'm going to start a fight every other day <laughs> and i'm gonna blame it on you every single time why'd you take an hour to respond why'd you take five minutes to respond you should be responding right fucking now this is the That's number wrong. one gaslighter in the whole entire world right here i'm telling you like. what have you <laughs> <laughs> have, have you ever have you ever like what do you usually do like if you get into an argument with your mans and like it's your fault do you just say like oh i'm so sorry like do you ever do go out of your way to like do anything because like gaslight no no, no. Oh, mask no. god damn oh. i'll talk about i'll talk about like i'll talk about like a present or something like that or like a like a like a gift like a gift because you know how we say like oh we bring flowers or something like that when we fuck up what about when you fuck up when I fuck up, do I get flowers? Or anything, no, anything, 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 anything. What do you anything. do? What do you do to kind of like make it like, up? Is it just like, just like I'm sorry, like I'm in the wrong? Like, do you do anything to make it up? <laughs> I'm like, oh. He's like, I'm done with you. You saw that immediately. <laughs> oh. Um, hold on, I'm trying to think. Damn. Um, <laughs> Damn. I apologize. And then I give that. a hug. <laughs> <laughs> and then I give him the free coupons for free hugs. <laughs> I apologize. That's it. I never use like gifts as a form of like, oh, I'm sorry. So, so how do you how do you? Wait, feel I thought about you that? said your your love language is gift giving, though. It is, but I never use gift giving as a way to like say I'm sorry. Say I'm sorry. How do you feel about that? Can I be can I be real? I feel like that's that's being kind of real though because like if okay hold on if you use gift giving as like your way of saying sorry. Can it be kind of manipulative? Okay, I was gonna say that. I was about to like, say that. Uh, in a way. Let me. Right. Nope. How so? Wait. How so? Por favor. <laughs> no, I wanted somebody. I wanted to clear the air. She's a host. She's a host. Oh, she's she's a host. Devin, one second, please. I want to clear the he has air. He's ADHD. Just about He's gonna the... forget. Here. Okay. Here, here, here. Okay. Go. 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 Hands have been clamming for go. thirty minutes, Sean. Go. Go, Oh. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say. So. No. 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 I want to. I want to clear the air about me sucking my boyfriend's dick every time I do something wrong. Okay, because it's not every time I do something wrong, like, but there are certain times where, like, I fuck up in a way that is really inconvenient to him. And, like... That is the only way to solve that. Yes. No, obviously, we have a conversation first ah. about what happened, what went wrong. Yes. And then afterwards, I get mad. Got it. Got it. That is, so I think that is the, that is very healthy. That is a, that is very healthy. Important, communication and then, yeah. It, exactly. There is communication that happens with our words, <laughs> yes. not just through sexual favors. I'd probably forget, I'd probably forget them so fast though. I'm not going to lie. I wanted to emphasize that. And like, it's not I, yeah. like I've done that every <laughs> single time, you know, yeah. so it's, he doesn't expect it. Well, gotcha. I don't know if he expects it. I don't know how you go into that. I'm just like, if it's every time, so sorry. you just like apologize. Uh, and you're like, all right, I'm let's get started. I'm literally going to forgive him every single time. Yeah. yeah. I, I will like somewhat agree sometimes like, if there's, if there's a bunch oh. of, <laughs> sorry. If there's a bunch of little problems, you don't have to talk it out 
every single time i mean i don't know like maybe there's another option to just like exactly sometimes it's just like you're you're just both it's like when you have angry sex you know with your significant other you're not really like angry at them but you're like just angry let's fuck you know like you're like let's fuck like that is different (laughs) i don't know how else to do it sorry devin go ahead I knew it. I don't want to switch the topic. Now. No, 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 no. no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that was the topic. That, that was the topic. topic. We finished we it up. We finished it up. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever bought flowers after an argument because in my mind, I, I take it as like manipulation. Yeah. Thank you. Like, no, I mean, your relationship is probably different from mine. How is it manipulated? In what way is it manipulated? I just feel like it is. Like for me to like buy something after like a serious argument, it almost feels like 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 a last ditch effort. If it's your fault. In my mind. In my mind. Even if it's your fault. Yeah. Like. Uh, I don't know, like... Wait, so what are we using manipulation as? Like, what is it? Yeah, what are we defining it as now? Just kind of like if, no, if like, she got... I, I got never... you, Devin. I think I got you. Unless you want to keep going. No, you can... It's literally his... <laughs> it's literally his... His top <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's literally him talking. I, no, no, Because no. I feel like he was like... Oh, I'm trying to think of what to say. I, I, I already, like, ah, I already know what he's going to say. Go, go, go. Okay. I could Just hop on when you catch it, okay? Yes. So... I just feel like, like for me personally, what goes through my mind whenever like I'm arguing or whatever, um, I just feel like buying something. I know like flowers would be a great gift to like ease attention. It's a nice thing to do, but just do it like every time after an argument, it almost feels like just buying something to ease attention is just manipulation. I to, think to definitely me. not every time you should not be doing that. I, okay, but I mean even, like you should every like you know what I mean. Yeah, you get yeah, I get, every time might yeah. be different from sometimes, but either way, like there's always like I don't think I do it because there's always something little in my mind where it's just like this could be seen as manipulation. I don't know how she feels about this. You know what I mean? I wouldn't like necessarily. Tra- Sorry, go ahead, Sage. Like for the, for that, like the flowers. I don't think it's definitely not flowers every time. Like I'll just be going in and like whatever she like, like Starbucks. Okay, show up there, get her lunch or like whatever. Like not exactly flowers every time. I feel like I know, but put what if it's something situation. every time though? Can't that be like? This is where this is. I where think I, it's like more of an act of kindness rather than yes, kind of yeah. like relieving, not not like giving, not trying to make her think, forget about the whole situation. Like yeah. this is this is what I'm gonna give you, so kind of forget about what's going on. But kind of just like more of like an act of like, okay, Here's you know what? I'm sorry. So it's like yes, like yeah. I, it, I think I've just always been hesitant because i mean i do i do see it as like this is a kind thing to do but yes. there's some like little piece of me that's just like this can be seen as manipulative yeah. see and this is where the that, difference that's kind is of my fear, this is this is where i this is where yeah. i see the differences no no this is how i see the differences if we get in an argument and i'm blah, blah blah and let's say it's me and madu and madu's like yo come over tomorrow and let's talk about this and i bring flowers with me that's where i could see it as manipulation but let's say we talk it out and blah blah and we are good and then t- tomorrow or next couple days, she's like, oh, let's hang out. And I bring flowers. That's just me being like, yo, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. You get so what I mean? So the timing. That's the difference. But, the timing. Hey, I, was, okay. I was taking it as scenario one that yeah. you said. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm taking it. No. It's like, it's that like, is manipulation. We seriously fight and it's like, yeah. like let's meet at this time. We're talking tomorrow. And if I bring flowers. Yes. But if we yeah. work it out and then I bring yeah. flowers, yeah. I, I've done that. What I'm talking about. It's what I'm talking about. But yes. I, I'm thinking about scenario one in my situation. Yes. That's where I'm like. Ooh. That's how we consider manipulation. You know, yeah. you, you know your relationship, so I mean, yeah. right. that's why if you have, like, I'm sure you're comfortable with what you know. So if that's the way you feel, like, you don't want to bring that into your relationship. So yeah, yeah. That's your that, that was my question because like mm-hmm. scenario one, as you said, that's where I'm yeah. like, that's pretty manipulative. Yeah. It is. Agreed. It is. Nick, yeah. Way to draw that line though. I, was I think. Struggling. I think where like that idea stemmed from though for me is because like a lot of my friends had had like toxic ass exes that whenever they would do bad, they would like come to their door with like. A big ass teddy bear and like mm-hmm. a handwritten note, like trying love to bombing. get her back. Yeah, love bombing basically. So I think that's why I stem from like it's kind of manipulative because I know a lot of my girlfriends that had people like that. Nah, like I said, yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pull up to some like if we're gonna have an argument or like we need to like work things out. I'm not gonna pull up there with a the big ass teddy bear. Yeah. But like if we talk it out and we are good, and the next time I see you, I bring a big ass teddy bear. Yeah. It's like yo, like genuinely, like I'm sorry. I'm glad this. I'm glad we worked it out. Here's a present to remember it. You get what I mean? Yeah, that's Not, how I view it. Yeah, okay. Yes. That, that's how I was trying to But I will it. say, if you are about to have an argument with somebody and he pulls up with a giant teddy bear or, I don't know, his social security number, you should probably be like, no, this is manipulation. Or a whole essay. Or a whole essay. Have you had a whole essay written to you? My friend has like a four page essay. Or, or a poem. And a big ass teddy bear and a bunch of whole, like he was so toxic. Okay, person. okay, sorry. One, yeah. more, one more question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, how do you guys feel about like if your man's wrote you like a little poem, <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> like a little poem about you? Did you write her a poem? 
Huh? No, 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 no. I'm asking you. Like, how would you feel like if uh, if your if your man's wrote you wrote like a little poem it, it about you? Cute. Write a poem, but have I, you thought about it? I, uh, what if it was terrible? Like though? if it was ass? like he related to you, like he was like <laughs> Madu. <laughs> what the fuck has a Madu? Soju. <laughs> Madu sweet like soju. I just want to have you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be at my crib, just me and you. No, you know, my, oh. My, uh, oh. my stepdad yeah, my writes poems pee, 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 a lot. <laughs> He writes poems a lot. My mom like, really likes it. Because he's actually really fucking good at okay, it. Okay, I was like, what if he sucked, though? Oh. I would still appreciate it, honestly. Would you be like, genuine, Or would you be icked out? I would be like, aw. I'm not going to lie. Because I would like the effort. Yeah, it's still okay. my boyfriend at the end of the day. And he's taking time to write this. Got you. Okay. Especially if, it, if he's like, I wrote, I put a lot of oh, effort God. into Christine, this. Christine, better than my last ex, Justine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Our relationship um, is pristine. Mm. You can't just keep writing with the same. <laughs> that's that's yeah, 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 yeah. My last girlfriend oh, reminded me yeah. of. No, wait, no. You remind me of Gucci, but my last girlfriend reminded me of Sheen. No. Oh! No, it's not a poem. That's not a poem. You make me feel so good like Lean. Oh! No, 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 that would go uh, you know what? <laughs> on 420, I, 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 we should I, I, all smoke, get fucking faded. You make me <laughs> so good, like my favorite pair of jeans. <laughs> Shut I, up, Nick. <laughs> Guys, for 420, we are going. Can Sage and Devin are you down to get blasted? Yes, yeah. we should all wear green. Maybe not blast. And smoke in that out. green. Well, and then maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just be inhaling the second hand smoke. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just smoke. Oh yeah, you can. We'll, we'll blow <laughs> it in your <laughs> face. I'll be over there with my inhaler, like, <laughs> like every five minutes. Anyways, um, people really want a stoned <laughs> podcast from us. I'm not, <laughs> hey, hey, can we, can we keep it? Can we keep it a buck though? Those are some lines, right? Like, if you got a poem like that, you'd want to probably marry me, no? No. Hmm. I would like. I, I would think it's cute, but like that's about it. Sean. Oh, you can't rhyme. I, dude, I, I've done like what you've done. Just like start rhyming shit for fun. You've just been like, this is my poem to you. you like randomly, like I'll just, I don't be busy. You make me feel like a fawn. Doesn't even make, make sense. Fawn. It's like a little like it's like a little deer. Fawn. Baby deer. Like a baby deer. A fawn. Oh, you're just uneducated. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead, go ahead. Are we off the the gift giving or in the in the? Okay, go ahead. damn, that was two fucking questions for this whole podcast. <laughs> you know, you welcome know back, buddy. <laughs> yeah, welcome I lost back. my I lost my touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next question. Oh, <laughs> get, get, get your breath. <laughs> okay, <laughs> which one should I ask first? This one or the other one? <laughs> which one was the one? <laughs> I like that one. Whoa. Okay, so the next question is, what are your best tips for navigating poor communication with any type of relationship? Like leading it? Like leading... How, what am I trying to ask? Like... Are you asking or answering? Are you asking for clarification? <laughs> <laughs> you said that in the most like... <laughs> random like <laughs> sentence i've ever heard it wasn't like a question or a statement hold on you, you said about? you said navigating what are your best tips like, for navigating poor communication so like am i the one trying to make the communication yes. better yes. yes okay that's how i started leading you know what yes. i'm saying <laughs> you didn't ask it like a question though you were like like leading it that's what you <laughs> said <laughs> i didn't know you were answering i was very confused okay too. okay Mari, you got something you raise your hand mm, i'm gonna go after Devin. I don't think well, yeah, I was, right I was gonna think a little bit. I, just <laughs> was a I think nowadays you get mixed up with either feeling like you're a know it all or like you're trying to take how do I explain this? Because I when, I, when you try navigating when I try to navigate it, just because like I like I feel like I'm a good communicator, but the times that I was like, you know what, we should probably like do this and do this to try to like make this communication better, they kind of take it in a way that they're like, you seem like you're better than me and you're trying like to kind of like make me this way. Feel bad or something like that You're too. criticizing them really? and trying to change yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, and trying to change them. But I was kind of like more like, I was like, why? How is that? How am I going to try to... Is that changing somebody when you're trying to like do it for the better? I you was know what definitely I mean? that girl that... I've definitely said that to one of my exes. Like, yeah. oh, you're just trying to change me. Like, you don't like me for who I am. Like, mm -hmm. I've said that. And when it comes to communication, I think, though, 
at the end of the day if you're gonna be in a relationship with someone else like your communication is something that you have to be willing to yeah. work on and, you and have change. To change that yeah it yeah. doesn't matter because like what communication is all about talking with someone else right or like yeah. being able to get them to understand what you're trying to feel it's a two-sided thing yeah. exactly and like you can't do that alone and you can't expect your partner to do that for you like you you have to be able to meet in the middle like but i think that's really hard for some people to grasp and it takes like a while for so, them to understand so how do you how do you go yeah how do you go around that if someone is taking it like offensively um, i'm gonna add on <clears throat> i would say uh listening is a big portion of that so like um like active listening as in how many times have you like been in an argument and right after you said something they could kind of argue right back oh yeah they, they're 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 waiting to talk instead of listening right so like one big way i worked on mine was like i was always super like snap i just want to get my point out you know yeah. what i mean um one thing i've definitely worked on is like sitting back like thinking about what they're saying you know what i mean even if like you think you're right you gotta like put yourself in the other person's shoes yeah. at the end of the day yeah. you know what i mean try to work it out somehow um i mean unless it's like a bad problem but i would say kind of just like work on active listening as in i'll tell you my problem like just soak it in before you say anything you know what i mean think about what you're gonna say think about what i'm saying how i feel and then if you don't agree with it you let me know but it's got to go both ways Agreed. so one way you can be a better communicator is like definitely think before you speak instead of just getting your point out which i know a lot of people like to do including well, I myself yeah, i was I, like that. i see that too but i mean like listening like i've been in that situation where it's been like okay i listen i let them talk I let them do whatever but then like it's still the same thing see I, I was about to say though how do you how do you handle somebody who does think yo you sound like a know-it-all like how yeah. do you handle somebody like that Literally, I didn't know because I, I was like super kind of like blindsided by the situation. So I was like, I'm not trying to change you. Like I'm trying to make you better. Like even if it's Ooh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know even if, if it's not for me. Well. But like it was like I was just like I was kind of like um, not make you better. I forgot what the you words should, like, that I was make saying. This relationship better would sound exactly, better. Yeah, but not even just so for me. But because I kind of already felt like the thing kind of going downhill. It wasn't really like I felt like I was trying to argue with somebody that like wasn't like on all, your level. Like, they're like leveled like right yeah, there with me I yeah. so i i didn't really know how to handle the situation so i was kind of more so like you know what try this just for right now just so you can like in the future try to use this for like future tense things because it, i already kind of felt the whole thing going down so i was like do this no i get that i think you got to understand that everybody's different mm -hmm. like yeah, i think everyone has their own right and wrong so if someone's doing something and in your eyes you're like that is just not me that's not what i want but you kind of got to understand more like so if they're doing it for a specific reason or like you kind of just got to like level with them yeah. i feel like i've been in that situation where i'm like dude this is not mature this is wrong this is not what you should do this is this like me just kind of stating my points kind of like what you said yeah and you just got to understand people like react differently people take other stuff more personally like i'm not a very personal guy i don't really take anything personally as much while other people could and like you just got to understand that not everyone is you and everyone's going to think the same as you. Yeah. So like that was like the point I was trying to stress. Yeah, where it's like, you got to understand. That's you know, just the biggest thing bit. I've learned. Like I'm very calm and quiet. I can control myself. I can control an argument. I can control anything. Some people can't. Some people like need to let their emotions take over because they, they're passionate and stuff like that. So like, you just got to understand that and be like, and not, not really try to change. Just try to like understand, you know, like I think that's worked out the best for me where I'm just like, I know where you're mad. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna get mad because yeah. I'm a calm person. Yeah. So like, if you want to be mad, I'm gonna wait till you calm down. We'll talk it out. Yeah. But like, I was like, I'll sit here all fucking night. <laughs> like, uh, that's just I feel like what you gotta do. And if it gets carried away, then obviously maybe someone's not right for you. But like, yeah. you really gotta understand that people are different. Yeah. That part, Sean, when you said like, oh, wait it out before until they're not mad anymore. Yeah. Until they're calm. That makes it so much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So I just think everyone is different, you know? Yeah. So you got to understand the way people come about certain things or like help them help you understand it. Because yeah. I mean, there's many times where things have happened where I'm like, why? Like, why is someone doing this? Whether it's with my girlfriend, with a friend, or, like, why are you getting so worked up over this? Yeah. Like, this yeah. ain't it. Like, immature. Yeah. Dumb. Like, I'm, I don't even want to fight about this. But then you kind of got to take into perspective, like, how they feel. Yeah. Or like, let them yeah. tell you how you feel. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Like, if it's not a big deal to you, it might be a big deal to them. I feel like I feel like a lot of people though they just take it into like their kind of like their own feelings and they're not like, oh, yeah. but I don't get why you're mm -hmm. acting exactly, this way. But yeah. it's like it's like just just sit there for like thirty seconds and just think about it like how I see it. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. That's how I think. That's that's like the biggest major communication point I've had where I'm just like, all right, let's try and because I always, whenever I go into a fight, 
like I don't think this is good, but I'm always like, all right, I'm gonna say this, and there's no way you could you could come back at me for that. Like just yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just like like I'll be like like five minutes before it happens, I'm in my head, I'm like, yep, that's it. And then you're gonna, from there, you're gonna go to there. There's no way they could say yeah. something back to that. And I'm like, and then as soon as we get there, I'm like, so tell me why like, you're like this or this. And then she did like, if it's Taylor, anybody, like okay, I'll like if with Taylor, she's always like. Well, how about when you do this? Like, how do you think I feel? I'm like, God damn it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> did it go the way you wanted it to go? You never, never. I'm always ready for an apology. I'm like, all right, now what? Like, and she's like, well, how about when you when you did this, though? How do you think that made you feel? I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, yeah. I, I don't really think about that. Like, you know, like some people, uh, that's just the thing. Perspective, yeah, yeah, man. Perspective yeah. is crazy, Agreed. dude. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. So yeah. you got to be very careful with communication. It's yes. the biggest thing, but. Bars, so, Sean. Yeah. Bars. Yeah. yeah. Period. Period. Um, did anybody else have anything else to add? No, y'all said it all, honestly. Um uh, last one and then we talk about some moments. Yeah, or, gotcha. yeah, oh yeah. The last gotcha, question. Gotcha, sorry. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. When is a good time to leave a relationship and take some time for yourself? Ooh. When is the last time? Best when time. is the when is oh. a good time or best time to leave a relationship and take some time for yourself? Uh-huh. When they're hurting you more than benefiting you. That that's a good, part. That's pretty yeah. simple one. Yeah, yeah that's, that's like the yeah. best. Way Very to the point. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> like when you feel way more drained, and then you think to yourself, like, why am I even like? How is this person benefiting me at all? They're only draining me. That's when you know, like, yeah, bye. Bounce. Like, changing someone for the worst, like not the better. Yeah. 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 If someone's definitely changing you into a negative. Yeah. Way. That part is very very bad like causing you more stress and stuff. Oh like that? Yeah, yeah, like and even just like the way you're becoming around people, like obviously. I feel like if you have a girlfriend, you're obviously going to be different in the way you do things and the way you act. But like, mm-hmm. if it's a very negative thing, I don't think it's very good. To, and I think everyone has those moments in a relationship. But like, if it's continuously, you're just going down a bad route, but you can't pull yourself out. I think it's hard to even get out if you're in that point. But like, yeah, I think because yeah. it's hard because then you're like, but you think about all the good times, right? But I think it's like life is so much bigger it goes back to perspective like life is so much bigger than the couple years that you've known this person right like you've known them yeah for four years but you're what 20 right now you're 22 like you still have like a good 60 years ahead of you like Mm. that to in the grand scheme of things when you're that old and like looking back at your life you're not gonna remember that guy from high school that you had a crush on. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. gonna be like just that little small part of your life. So, like, you know, if you really are, you know, getting hurt more than you find yourself being happy, then maybe that is like a good time. Also, because that means that, like, you don't, like, to put it super bluntly, like, you have no self respect for yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, cause you're letting somebody hurt you. Like, where are the boundaries that you've set for yourself? Like, do you not respect yourself enough to like let someone treat you well? You know, like those are questions that I think you have to ask yourself, which is hard. Like it's, it's so fucking hard to like look at yourself and be like, oh, I'm the toxic person. Oh yeah. Because I did that, you know, th- at the beginning of this year, like I <laughs> I stopped dating for a while and I was like, I'm going to be alone. And I realized it was like me that was not always me, but I was definitely contributing way more than I let myself believe, you know? And that is like the realization that you kind of have to have before I think you're able to be in a relationship that can really flourish. Some people are lucky to realize that with your significant other and some people have to realize that on your own. Yeah, and that's not? just the hard truth of it. Yeah. That makes mm. sense. If your friend's in a bad relationship, break them up. If you realize <laughs> it's toxic. <laughs> Plant some earrings in their bed. Yeah, leave them a note saying her, Plant change her contact to a girl's name and text them some really weird shit. Break them up. You know it's, you know it's good for them. That um, is so hard to do though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> like your Texting friend never cheating. listens to you. Yeah. Where's your proof? Ah, oh, just believe me, bro. <laughs> Trust me, bro. It's just sometimes though with friends, it's like you have to let them. You can't, you can't say anything you with friends. After, that after that a couple never, times, that you, you can't. Works. Yeah, no. never works. Actually though, no, no. Y'all, no, y'all help me a lot though. Leave my last. No, relationship. but that's it's different. Like, it's, it's way different. Oh, you had to realize it on your own though. Oh yeah, that's true. It's yeah. not. It's not what we but, said. It was yeah. what you were actually realizing. Okay, true, true. It's just I kind of came with it already, being in my mind heavy, and you guys like pushed me. Yeah, I put I pushed some people before, and it was like they didn't realize until like way later, and then yeah. I'm like, 
motherfucker i told you this yeah yeah, yeah. like yeah. i've been telling you this yeah. but it is hard it's hard to hear like as that friend and it's hard to like be that friend you know because yeah. like you never actually know what's going on in their relationship you only see like yeah. what's on the outside yeah. like you only hear from one side of the story like yeah. you really only hear the bad things in relationship from exactly your friends. so like you never really know but exactly you know i think it's best like for you like if you're going through it or like if you have friends going through it like just tell them that you support that you'll support them no matter what because at the end of the day it's like it's still your friend like yeah it's your significant other it's their significant other but they are like in that second circle of friends your friend is in that first circle like you want to take care of them first and then like the significant other second so like just tell your friend that you have their back no matter what i support you but you should leave her yeah. So gotcha. some, something like yeah. that. Something like gotcha. that. Not the exact gotcha. words. Got you. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what your friend needs to hear because at the end of the day, like you still do support them and yes. you will be there for them yes. when they leave that person, if they leave that person, but like they just need to hear that reassurance, I think. Oh, yeah. I do think that is the best way to break through. That Just makes let them know. You'll drown with them. I like yeah. that. Guys, I have another indicator of when you should leave. <laughs> what is it? I feel like when you start losing friends. Ooh. like yeah. i don't know if you guys agree with that but uh, sometimes it could be because like you're spending way too much with that person and then not enough with your friends and then your friends get salty about it but sometimes it's because like i don't know i think it's a it's i just know i don't know why i thought about this right now mm-hmm. but i think it's like a early signal of like having almost like a marriage kind of because when you're in a marriage you don't really got too many friends or like not you're not kicking with anybody just like that or so i, I think b- before you get to Amado, are you talking about like girls losing girlfriends and like guys losing guy friends are you talking about that or like just like in general like i think there's two different standpoints of losing friends right is either using you're losing friends for like the the wrong points because they're they're saying like oh your relationship is bad get out of it or you're losing friends just because you're in so in love and like you're you don't want to spend out with them yeah, yeah, yeah you want to spend time both are kind of bad though no. i don't think both are bad i don't think no. the the spending time with your boyfriend or girlfriend is bad just because it's like that's your you know what i mean that's your partner that's but like when you start there. prioritizing them over everything I that's mean, when you start like losing your friends because you're not really spending as i don't, much I don't think that i don't think i that. do really? think it's somewhat bad because really? of what your friend means somewhat? to you yeah yeah, yeah. Like exactly, if, exactly if i if my if i wasn't hanging out with somebody and i'm just like i do i'm so in love it's like okay bro but like what did i mean to you man yeah. like yeah. you were my dog like throughout my life yeah. so like i would take it to heart if it was like that like i would always if something happened like that i'd be like yeah go i would never tell i'd always say exactly. go kick it with them but like yeah. if you don't at least put an effort to spend time like or yeah. just like say what's up or like we should kick it and do this I'd probably take it personally a little bit. Yeah. Like, damn, bro, I would like, take it personally too. We've yeah. been through the ropes. Yeah. I'm thinking about somebody right now. <laughs> <laughs> damn, I know exactly what you're talking about. But, um, yeah. Because it's just like, I do know a lot of people that have lost their friends because they were so, only hang out with their significant other, right? Yeah. And those relationships were usually the most toxic ones. So yeah. that's where I'm getting this from. I, I believe that. I, like, just... It's kind of correlated. Like, yeah. Being, I, yeah. Wait. <laughs> I, I believe that to a certain extent but like Devin, Sage, or Sean like if they just got like if they just left for any reason because of their girlfriends and then one day they hit me up and they were like yo like what are you up to I wouldn't and I had plans where they could come to I wouldn't be like oh nah bro like you can't come through I still like yo I haven't seen you so long come through you know what I mean but maybe it's just different from different people because some people do get salty yeah. some people are like nah like go go hang out with your mans you know yeah yeah, yeah. for but sure yeah, it depends on who you kick it with i don't think those are good friends though if i'm being honest that's how i'm thinking yeah, no, i don't yeah, get don't salty know. like my bestie she she doesn't hang out with me as much anymore because but i don't get salty exactly i'm you're right but i mean i don't know but if you're losing all your friends though that might say something um because when i was it in... could be like sorry <laughs> no rock paper really. scissors <laughs> 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 talk louder than <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> wait, okay, go wait. ahead, mother. <laughs> she raised her voice. <laughs> wait, who? Me or Kazi? You? Oh, okay, sorry. Kazi, I think. You can go. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I have to say something to say. No, go ahead, I had a new thought. It was, um. Because <laughs> usually it's like. <laughs> it's like you lose those friends because they're, they're the ones telling you, telling you, like, oh, like. You know, like this person. 
she this lost it, man. No, it's no, gone. this person is hella, hella, hella toxic for you, you know? Like, you know, you should really leave them, you know? You're always, like, that person only comes to you when when they're crying about their boyfriend problems, you know? Yeah. That's the only time they talk to you. No, so that's, that annoying. that's annoying. Uh, that's that valid. Me off. That is valid. That's a bad friend. That's, that's a bad friend. Yes. Yes. On the and relationship yes. friend. That's a bad friend. Yes. Yeah. yes. And so... What I'm trying to say, that's how you lose friends a lot of the time when you're in a toxic relationship. Okay, I'll take that one. Yes, that makes sense. Does that make sense? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. And so that's why I was trying to correlate this with, oh, when you lose a bunch of your friends, that might say something about your relationship being toxic. Yeah, if it's like that, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. No, that definitely is a sign because when I was dating the my abusive ex, like one of the things that... I noticed first was like I lost all my friends like I stopped going out completely like I like this, and it was on your end it was on my end like uh. well I mean he was fucking crazy and we were always like we were calling like 24 7 so mm. like my phone was always on like he was listening to everything and so like you know I stopped hanging out with guys like I stopped hanging out with even my girlfriends because i was scared about like what they could say about like you know like oh i heard so and so likes you that my my ex hearing that like that would make me like sweat you know yeah. like so i stopped hanging out with them like even my family too like he would get upset that like i would have to hang up during dinner like i was oh, like i'm not gonna damn, uh, i was like i'm not gonna crazy. sit at the dinner table with an with an airpod in like i'm not gonna do that I'm, i want to talk to my parents but like after a while i just stopped eating with my family because i just like didn't want to deal with it so like yes it does happen in abusive relationships and yes that can be a sign of that but if it's like something that like you're going through 20 like all the time in every relationship and like you see that friend like that friend is maybe someone that you can cut off because at that point like they need to realize that like it's it's their problem like they need to figure themselves out and honestly some people don't figure that out until they realize that they're completely alone in the world and that they have nobody to depend on but themselves but you know like you know like what type of people your friends are like obviously you can't push all of them away like that so like do that mindfully but it does ha it, it happens both ways mm -hmm. Damn. I'm in sorry and about out that, of man. that sounds rough that sounds yeah rough. it was it was the worst two years of my life but you know it happened and, and like yeah i live and learn from it so like and i'm here so that's good anyone else going through that like i'm sure you will make it through it you know give me some give me some good. yeah that was give me some good shit oh, look, where, look where you're at now i know look where i am now thousand subscriber podcast hey two hundred eighty thousand. <laughs> what what did you say Two hundred eighty thousand. oh my god almost 300k hey man oh that was like <laughs> 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 I, I like that though. That was that was a good way to that's a good way to say it. Um, did you guys have anything else to add? Otherwise, if anyone needs to pee, you can pee, and then we can wrap it up with some of our best memories best where we memories. came from. Okay. You ready to just get into it? Yes. Well, anyways, I really wish I had more champagne, so I guess we all gotta take a shot. No. Last podcast was funny. I didn't even watch it yet. You watched it? Already? I was watching on the way here or like on the in the car audio. And you should not be doing that with the way you drive. <laughs> With the car like audio, <laughs> the audio, not not. not the oh video. my god! <laughs> not me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, oh what god, the? I never you say not me. Know you know how I talked about I was such a good driver this past weekend. Oh god! What or you on the podcast this past weekend, I was driving with my boyfriend and his little brother. We were going Black Friday shopping. And I'm pulling into a Starbucks, and I have never hit the curb so oh, wow. hard in my <laughs> life. Mother doesn't even notice half the times. No way. It made me <laughs> laugh so hard because I was so she embarrassed. Goes fast, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, okay, all right, guys. So, so now that uh, we finished the first like beginning part, um, we should I just be wanna... getting fucking sponsored by TJ. We need to reach out to them. Sponsor me. That'd um, be cool. <laughs> I would like. I would like to say a, a few things. So if everyone could please, uh, wait, raise their no, uh, raise their glass. Are we doing the champagne glasses? I don't know. Just raise something. Oh, okay. oh yeah, you can use it. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna pour some. Just pour some. I need. I need some of it. I would like to uh, say just just a couple things. Uh, first of all, I am so thankful that. I can do a podcast with my best friends. Ah. That's, that's number one. Well, yes. Second of all, I, yes. I, I, I'm so thankful that. Do we keep holding it up? Well, no, no. You can just okay. you know you can just keep Let, it. Just, it's a little it's a little toast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Second of all, I am so thankful that we 
could pick up someone who has is as cool as Christine is, and yeah. oh. for Aww. her to be you, because yeah. you came on so fast and it was so natural. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it literally felt like I've yeah. known you for as long as them. So I do appreciate that. Yep. And three, Sean, I know you're not on here as much, but this is the man that got us started, the man that told me I should be doing this. I'm there when it matters. To Sean, you saw me in the last quarter. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, to old friendships and to new friendships. Yes. 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 Oh, this is gonna go down so hard. I know. <laughs> God damn, that tastes like shit. Uh, woo. Uh, anyways, um, so yeah, guys. So we'll just go ahead. I don't know if you guys got anything to say. You guys can go ahead and say. But like, I'm not gonna lie. My my favorite moments were definitely those days where we'd go to this man's grandma's house, the Rancho right. House. Yeah, I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like it was like a different type of atmosphere, and we were just getting together for fun because we had nothing to do, yeah. and we would just yeah. fucking talk, bro. That uh, shit was so was much fun. Time. That's why it was fun uh, coming back on. Cause yeah, I missed that stuff. Like. How'd you like it tonight? Was it different? Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, not at the same time, no. Because More professional just, or like... Oh, dude, when you turn those lights on, I was like, fuck, I'm in a production right now. <laughs> well, that's also because you're pale as fuck, though, and your face, like, <laughs> reflects the light. Nick, what the fuck? I love this man fucking do podcasts in a vacant house every day. I gave you the damn key, and you treat me like this. That's <laughs> fucked up. But I will say, even though I'm not here a lot, uh, it was awesome to watch you go from, from that to this, man. I appreciate even, you. Whether I'm in the game or on the sidelines, I appreciate <laughs> it's, you. It was Second really, string. it was really cool because I mean, I remember sitting at that In and Out and telling you in Austin about how like it could happen, and you guys were just like tuning me out, and I was just That's like, so crazy. Actually. And you had eight thousand yeah. followers on TikTok, and I was like, dude, you got eight thousand. Yeah. Like, and you were like, no, that's no point. And then yeah. you got fourteen thousand. Then it was a hundred thousand, and then it was podcast, and then this shit. And you're meeting people that I want to cry about. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's it's honestly super insane. And I also speak on, not speak on, but I know Cynthia's supposed to be in the seat tonight. So I know she wishes she could be here. And I'm pretty yeah. sure, like, she's very grateful for all you guys. So I'll just speak on that for her. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 But, uh, dude, like, literally, like, even though, like, I definitely, like, put in production, like, do the editing, but, like, literally a team effort just because like a lot of people don't be watching just specifically for one of us that's that's the coolest part yeah. you know like no one's like no one's like oh like i'm so like what, the comments ain't just filled with just one person though right. you got what i mean yeah and like i definitely would not be doing this for as long as i've been doing this and i don't think i hope you guys wouldn't be doing this for long as you guys are doing it like if you guys didn't have fun while doing it you know no, exactly yeah, I love exactly it. i love it here y'all I have so much. I have so much fun doing this. Like yes, when this I'm hosting, really cool. you know, y'all hosting. Like it's literally an opportunity that couldn't even happen if it wasn't for y'all either watching. Like I, we appreciate every single exactly. one of you. But um, yeah, I mean, Crazy. I can't even. I can't Crazy even. I can't even pinpoint like a like my best podcast, like my favorite podcast. You want to start with favorite theme? Oh yes. Can favorite I? Theme. Oh right. no, let's start with favorite podcast and favorite theme. I'm not gonna lie, I had so much fun when we did our first gender switch. I think yeah. that was the, <laughs> I think that was our, I think that was actually, that I might have been so our best, sexy our best one. I might, that might have been our best one that too. That was my most favorite, just gender switch. It yeah. was very intense, it definitely. Was, we were just locked in. We were debating. You know what the funniest part was though? Like, like I remember for the longest time ahead, you were always talking about like, yo, we should start wearing crop tops. And yeah. like, you were always like, before we were crop yeah. top in the gym, <laughs> yeah. two weeks later we do the gender swap, you're like, oh. Hell yeah, or like when you guys were pulling down my, my shirt to see my boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting motherfuckers. Um, what about the girls? How how did you feel when you first came on, Christine? That's that's a big question. I was really nervous. Like I've, before you came on? Yeah. You did amazing for your first time on though. For real. You had a shook. It's cause I'm such an open person. Like I literally if you ask me any question, I will answer it with complete honesty. Like that's just the type of person I am. Like and so it it wasn't that weird coming on here, but it was it is weird sometimes like when people like i haven't talked to in like six yeah. years will be like yo i saw this clip that went viral and i'm like it's like a dude you know and, and it like it's like a clip of something that i said about sex and then yeah. i'm just like i'm gonna block you <laughs> like, if, if you do this again like that that shit gets a little weird sometimes like oh, yeah. and that was hard to oh, like yeah. adjust to oh, i yeah. guess yeah um but I like it now. It's it's a lot more fun for me now. You gotta get used to it for sure. But uh, I always think I think it's cool when people I used to go to school with just say something about like y'all going viral. I had to, um, one of my friends I used to play soccer with. I only played with him for probably, probably like a season. Um, he's like a year older than us. Uh, he like DM me the other day and he was like, "Yo, bro, like you're worldwide." And I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "Bro, I stay in Hong Kong." Well, I was like, "Oh, bro, like it's good to hear you. Like, where are you saying?" He's like, "Oh, I stay in Hong Kong." 
and I literally pulled up on my boy and he had you guys on his TV. Like, no. And I'm like, all right, right? There's people in my Discord server that are like, I'm from Switzerland. Yeah. I'm from like Argentina. I'm from Spain. I'm That's from England. Crazy. And I'm like, Australia. Australia's Australia. a big one. Australia's a big one. Same with Philippines, which is crazy. That's yeah. Dope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, Nick, you remember that one guy? He was an ex K pop. Yes. Guy, yeah. he was watching it too. That's yeah. super cool. Yeah. Like, that's super cool. It's just, it's just crazy because like shit. sometimes like I don't take it into account or like can't comprehend it. Can yeah. you see like the demographics on YouTube mm-hmm. of like wh- where are, like the top countries? It's United States for sure, and I think it's United States and then England and then Australia. I, I think, but I know yeah. Australia. Yeah, I think uh, Australia is for sure three. That's Damn. man, that's and crazy. Like, Y'all yeah. got a voice, you know. Yeah, that's what you're not. See, that's what's insane to me. Like you guys can speak on so much stuff, and like, yeah. And that's the thing. You guys are just like my friends. So like, I come <laughs> around and I'm like looking at Nick. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like you little, you little dweeb. Like, hey, don't talk to me like hey, that. Man. But like, people would freak out that I even know this guy. Or like, and I'm like, oh that. That little motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you gotta keep saying little? Why you gotta keep saying little? Like, just just call me a motherfucker. Why you gotta say little? It's like go and talk to that dude, man. You <laughs> man, when people ask you about like, do they, do people ever ask if I'm tall? Uh, nah. We keep uh, that okay. conversation. You know, out really funny, remember the other day when we were talking about? It, I was like, when I asked you, I was like, do people like be like, whoa, like you're a lot like smaller, smaller in person? Yep. People have said that. <laughs> it was yep. like that happens all the time. I'm not gonna lie, 70, 75 percent of the time. If I engage them, they're like, oh, oh, what's wrong? You're, you're smaller than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. What fucking, what am I supposed to say to that? Yeah, if anyone comes out with you with that, oh, you just walk away. Literally, <laughs> literally craziest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. First fan that ever recognized me, I was in Newport. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Oh. And he, I, yeah, I took a picture with Sean because she pulled up and she was like, you guys are literally my favorite TikTokers. Like one of my favorite TikTokers. First fan ever. And Max, he said something about like, hey, yo, does he look as tall as he is in his videos? And she goes, she goes, you're a lot shorter actually than I thought. That was rough. And I was like, damn, you know what? I'm still going to take it because you are amazing and I'm appreciate. I asked her for a picture. First of her fan, I said, yo, can we take a picture together? That's so cute. It's crazy. You remember that? Oh, no, I remember that. Yeah, I literally asked her to take a picture with me. That's dope, though. You just don't expect that. Yeah. You're like, hey. I'm just like, what do we do? (laughs) Yeah, even now. Even now, like, when I was with Sage the other day and we got recognized at the mall, I was even like, uh, uh, you know, I still don't know what to say. I bowed. Same, same. I would have said, I would have said, thank you. (laughs) I, some people I met at Escape, I I definitely bowed to. Yeah, I bowed. I was like, oh, hi, like, but I was like, I know that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. But yeah. oh, dude, it's hard shit. sometimes. You're like, yeah. I feel so fucking awkward. Like yeah. sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm pretty like, good with it though. You, like okay, I'm when I'm with it. you, you carry us. <laughs> I know Devin. I know Devin folds. Oh. I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. Uh, <laughs> You're more nervous than Devin. I get nervous, but no way. The, like recently, I've been way more like yeah. I lean back. Yeah. But like even when we go to the mall, when we used to at first, yeah. I was like. Like Sage, what do you do the talking? See, you know what's weird? I always, I don't know if I should hug them or handshake them. I always hug them. I, I hug. I hug. I would hug him. Yeah, that's just like thank you for watching. That'd gotcha. be dope. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. mean that's that's fucking sick. I, I don't even know how much you guys get it because, like, I feel like it's all the time. I mean, like that guy said, you're worldwide. I just can't comprehend it. So I just can't. So that is trippy. It, it is trippy. It is weird. Yeah. yeah. Especially at like crowded places is when it's really trippy. Oh yeah, I, I love that shit though. It's so it's so cool then when y'all everybody me. turns to like yeah. look and, and then the, yeah. more people recognize. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, oh my god. We're at yeah. The, yeah. We're at the oh, gym. Yeah. And someone's just like standing there, like we're doing our set. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny. I'm just about to be like, no pictures, dude. Like, dude, dude. <laughs> my sister, my sister makes fun of me because we take her to the gym sometimes. This one guy, like, she, oh, but I got recognized like twice, I think, with her. And then every time I go home, she's like, oh my god, are you Nick Greta? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, I'm my like, family does dude, that, right? My sister does that shit all the fucking right? time. Right? And I'm just like, oh my god, yes, <laughs> I am him. You want a picture? Mm-hmm. Not. I'm gonna but, start saying that to my fuckers <laughs> at the gym. <laughs> No pictures. Just like scare them off because I'm. It's mostly like kind of younger kids. It is like some high school kids yeah. that just like stand there, like just like waiting. <laughs> and like the, the mirror, you can see the whole entire gym, so you fucking see him stand there. I'm like, I'm be like, you want to hop in? Like, fuck. <laughs> but no, they're super nice kids, and it's honestly no, really, are. really cool really to nice see people. people like interact with you like that. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure there's, I'm sure, I'm pretty sure everyone stares at you sometimes when we go out places, but no one wants to come up and say hi. Yeah. I was like, oh no, fuck that guy. I don't watch that. Yeah. Everyone yeah. watches. I never, shit. I never realized it, but this past weekend when we went to Newport, dude, I, I noticed, noticed, that. noticed that. Maybe it was because I was sober this entire time, but like I really saw everyone just looking, and I was like, that's Damn. why I, fu- I hate going to like public places now because it's I've yeah I'm starting to get a little social anxiety about it, which is like 
I knew it was coming, so I'm I'm I was I've been expecting it, but it's just like the stares that I get so, sometimes. So about like six months ago, two years ago, I don't know if I I think I told a couple of you guys, I don't know, but I developed like really bad social anxiety just because I was like I know I can't even believe that. No, That's, bro, because you're like <laughs> this guy's like. Can you ask him for me? I'm like, you have a fucking podcast. (laughs) Because, bro, it's like, it's like once, once everyone like starts looking at you, you got, I gotta like talk differently. I gotta watch what I say. I gotta like, like I was talking the other day. All right, what happened? Let's relax. Let's relax. (laughs) Can you imagine? We're not even that famous. Imagine people that are like super. No, that's what I'm thinking. Like, bro, they can't even go places. See, I saw, I saw an interview with Vince Staples, and he was like, bro, I don't care like what happens. I don't ever want to be as famous as Eminem. Because Eminem cannot that's, go anywhere. He can, you, can, you can't even leave your crib. You that's cannot, what I'm saying. You can't leave your crib without anybody being like, that's Eminem. You gotta be like, covered up. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they move it? That's how they move it? <laughs> or you always gotta have like security guards with you. Yep. Imagine like... I cut you off. Sorry. I think I cut you off. Already. I think you're gonna talk about social anxiety. I, oh, cut, you, I cut you off. I felt, I felt bad. I felt bad. I'm sorry. You don't have anything to say. <laughs> Did I cut now? No, I, I developed... I want to say like almost recently too. Yeah. That's why I haven't been going yeah. to the bars or anything. Because yeah. like... Uh, like, it kind of hit me, uh, I don't know when, but like when I step out now, sometimes I feel that way. Or, like, I most to, of the time. I used to. But have I'm, de- I'm like definitely coming over it now. Oh, yeah. But I hit that little slump too. Oh, yeah. And yeah. also, I was going to say, um, I recently had like. <laughs> I recently had like one <laughs> no, of the, no. the best like interactions with a, with somebody, like a supporter. Ah. Um, it was at Escape. And prior to like the episode that dropped prior to that weekend, um, we were talking about how like. If somebody's not on the show, it's because we need like a little mental health break, all that. Yeah. And literally, like, I'm just waiting in like in the bathrooms outside for like White to come meet me out there, and like people come up, say hi, like super lovely, and then some dude comes up to me, um, and he dabs me up. He's like, "Yo, like you're Devin, right?" I was like, "Yeah, dude, nice to meet you. Like, are you excited for tonight?" With like little talk, and then he was like, "Hey, bro, by the way, like, if you guys like any of you guys ever need a break, just know like, all of us who watch understand like Aww. we That's love so that sweet. you guys are just on there like giving That's us sick. your time and i was like That's so i laid them up i was like bro i hope you have the best night of your life <laughs> That's so cool. That's dope. Yeah. yeah it was su- it, that, that interaction though was like my favorite by far. Yeah, but just hearing that would probably make, probably yeah. makes my that I made that's I'm feeling that right now. Yeah. So okay, let's go. Man, every interaction is so cool. Yeah, yeah. it was super sweet that's though. Super like that's the one where I was like, like I literally was like, damn, that was fucking, that was crazy. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's been it's been it's been such a fun ride. I really hope it doesn't end anytime soon though. Same. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I, I really hope it doesn't. That's crazy. It. It's not. I actually don't believe in that, so I don't do that stuff. No, because then once I start yeah, doing it, it's gonna happen. It, yeah. <laughs> do it. Don't make no. him do it. Do it. No, I don't why do is it because you're white? <laughs> is that why? Do it. Do it. What's up with? <laughs> What's up with what? Beaters? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're about to say. No, and anything, anything that I do, he's like, you're white. Cause you are. No, you're Sean. Dummy. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen. Do any of you guys have anything else you want to say about the podcast? 100 episodes in experiences journeys life lessons did you guys think it was gonna get this far no i did i did i did i didn't i did in the beginning of this year when we had that talk together i was like this is getting serious what what did you think you think we get this far no i'm gonna keep it a buck with you bro that's why i was going to school because i was like oh this is fun like it's cool it's cool pocket money like yeah like it's cool but like no and also because there's like so many other people like us out there yeah it I'm not gonna lie. The one thing though that like literally made me want to like go as far as I can is when motherfuckers just said I couldn't do it. Like even my family when they were like, "Yo, why are you prioritizing this?" That's why I'm like, I love I love my mom and dad, but I'm like, shut the fuck up and let me show you why. (laughs) Yeah, you know, and it's it's just so it's just so fucking awesome, bro. Like that's the that's literally the only reason why. Like if everyone, I think if everyone in my life said like, because even you, bro, I think you were the only one that really said you can do this. I was the only fucking one. You you were you were. That's another. Oh, too, is that, <laughs> I'll let y'all know. I think is that I was right too. Like I fucking said, like he's got what it takes. Like yeah, you, uh, you don't understand. Yeah. Like my 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 mom was always like, oh, I know Nick Scott. Like Nick's just that person. And I was my like, my mom has said the same thing too. Yeah, I think I think I think yeah. maybe yeah. other, parent, mom, other my parents mom believe said the same in you. Thing too. <laughs> yeah, no, like literally, my mom said the same exact. I just thing. knew, yeah, man. I just knew that. you fucking could That's do. That's crazy. It. I think it's like almost wasted talent. Like when I used to look at you, like you're just a funny guy. Boy, look at me doing <laughs> what? And we're doing nothing. Like uh, because dude, <laughs> TikTok was so fucking like some people would blow up, and I'd just be like, oh man, we got those ideas. Oh, yeah. We do that shit without a camera. Oh yeah, like. We go say something without a camera. Like, let's just do it with the camera. This just slaps know? harder than my dad. 
what are you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's so stupid, but it's funny and it works. Like that's just that's what I'm saying. You guys are those people. Yeah. Like you are those people that people are like, oh, I could wish I could be that social, that funny, that like could just talk to anybody yeah. i feel like a lot of people are but it's yeah. when that rectangular shape thing exactly. with the red dot comes on yeah. that's when oh. people be like oh shit like right. they don't know how to act hell yeah we're just bro regular ass people hell we're yeah. a regular ass friend group with a camera right in front of yeah. us yeah <laughs> that's really what <laughs> this is the other thing too though i think is what's unique is like y'all make me feel comfortable to ask questions and to answer questions yeah. like okay like yeah, i said yeah. like i think if it was just me and Sage, I don't think it'd be the same. Me and Madu, me and Devin, me and Christine, me and Sean, I don't think it'd be the same. I think now I've gotten used to it. Yeah. So now I can sit in front of a camera with any one of yeah. you, like one on one. But it's just that in the beginning, you got to get over that. And the thing is, like, the craziest thing is, is like, I think a lot of people can do it if you just fucking are consistent with it and you just want to do it. You know, a lot of work. you don't care about it's, it's a lot of work. And the thing is, like, bro, like, I've had so many just long nights when i was at school bro just trying to push shit out like i was just trying to push content out this and that like edit videos it was just a lot of stuff but like I, like i said the only reason why i did it was just because motherfuckers were just saying like you can't do it besides you like <laughs> congratulations you know man. congratulations to all you guys honestly like y'all y'all are some crazy yes. motherfuckers i'm very applause. proud to call you guys my friends Aww. honestly no i get to Aww. i dude, i i i brag so much honestly I'm like oh yeah i know that fucking guy i'll call him right now <laughs> i'm waiting for that guy on tiktok to be like who's the most famous person in your contact I'm like, wait bitch <laughs> <laughs> let me call Nick Red right now don't and then I'll call Sage <laughs> Red, 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 Red. I, beg you, I beg you please don't do that because I'll be answering the calls like butt ass news <laughs> and I don't want to be on the camera I don't want to be on nobody's camera when I answer the call but I'm news. waiting for that motherfucker find me because I'm calling I'm calling y'all <laughs> nah but it's honestly super dope like I know you guys sometimes it may seem like you just make videos for people but it's like talent honestly so like you and you got the grind you got everything so like it's really cool <laughs> And see you guys. Sean, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean. Ever, Sean. Need, ever need a break? Don't do it. You're just talking to the camera. <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. But Damn. honestly, like, you guys are dope. It was, it was a pleasure being on here. Hell yeah. And I appreciate Hell that. Hell yeah. Appreciate the experience. Little round of applause for Sean. Little round of applause for Sean. Thank you guys. Send um, will be back soon enough. Yes, yes, but I will say thank you to everybody that's been with us since yeah. day one. Yeah. Since we had that little mic in the middle of the table. Since we brought Maria on. Since we brought Christine on. Even then, I think Christine hopped on on like episode like 50 something, it was 50, you know, yeah. 55, 50 something. 56, something like that. I'm pretty sure. There's no way. Yeah. yeah. You know what? I'll, I'll find out right now. Yeah. Uh, Cynthia was on a little before you. We yeah. did the one with the little babushka thing. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 because I think that video right. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I think the video right before you was like 50 something. Yeah. Let's That's see. You know what? Wait. Yeah. Not yeah. I think we've done. I don't even remember the last podcast that I did. I don't even remember the last podcast that I did. It was Rancho House, no? Nah, dude, I don't even know. No, it was the I garage. Was it was the garage. garage. Yeah, the garage. Something fucking random. I don't even remember. If you guys haven't watched the first episode, go watch that. Oh, that's it's so... Crazy. It's, it's, it's crazy. I feel like I was a douchebag. <laughs> I go watch her. If anybody hasn't watched our old videos of like the vlogs and everything, bro, please go watch that because you guys are it's missing out on so some comedy. Don't though. get it twisted. So the other day, I was going through my YouTube and I was looking at popular videos and I was like... I wanted to watch. I was thinking about a vlog that we did. I totally forget sometimes that we did. Yeah, that. and I looked back at a vlog and it's I was so like, funny. "This, why does this shit not have millions of <laughs> exactly, views? Exactly, this is way funnier exactly. than the podcast, you know." But yeah, yeah, that shit's fucking funny. You know, dude. my favorite vlog was when we all went to San Diego. Oh yeah, that was a good vlog. Cliff that was jumping, a good cliff vlog. jumping, and then at the military base. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you guys annoyed me <laughs> so much that like, fucking day. Do you remember when we were coming back hungover? I you. No, remember when you and me come back hungover and they kept playing. Yeah, by oh, Usher and they can restart it. Yeah, peace wait, wait, wait. up. Peace up. San Diego. No, peace I got up. The San Diego. Peace up. The vlog. Hey, town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a different day. Oh, no, yeah, we, that's we a went different to, day. Yeah, see, so you're talking about different. We went to when we went to San Diego to the clubs. The drive there and back was. I feel like that's when I first really learned about you, like to an extent, because in the car this guy was talking like crazy <laughs> and just like making random sounds and playing random music. It was lucky, but it was it was, it was really funny. good time. Anyways, not nah, but y'all y'all definitely got to check out like a vlogger too. Like they were so funny, but um definitely like I mean I'm not gonna lie, like we've done a lot with this podcast, and there's definitely more I want to do outside of this podcast that we ha that we definitely have to try. Yeah, but um, no, nah, I appreciate every single one of you that have been on this like road with us because you have this. You've literally learned like with us, you know. So it's been nice. What are you gonna say? Oh, uh, no. Nah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah, hundredth episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, go ahead. You want you want to sign us off? I'm your host. I'm your host, Christine. I'm Nick. I'm Sean Williams. Devonte. Maru. And Sage. And guys, remember to like, subscribe. 
Turn on that post notification button. Add us on, in my Discord and Christie's Discord. And salute to another successful podcast, this my friends. A hundred! A hundred! This might be my only episode, so run that. Run that. Run, <laughs> run that those socials thing. up. Run those socials up. You made me money. Made money for Christmas. Oh, that was a great hundredth episode.